Hello. It was so weird not doing a countdown before pressing the go button. Hey, everybody. I also am saying things and waiting for someone else to speak, which is so abnormal to me. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Nerds Like Nerds Soul Stream. It's me. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Betty. Thanks for the luck. I've appreciated it a lot. So, welcome to Hades. Um, we have done one Hades stream in the past. One second. TSB has resubscribed with Prime. Thank you so much. A whole five months! Here's something to speak about. We've been going for five months. That's too long. I'm stopping it here. Just, it's got to end now. Um, <clears throat> welcome to Hades. I fucked up the chat overlay thing. Why is the chat in black? I did a thing to change something. It didn't work. I need to be right back. <laughs> oh, you got an emote for some reason, man? What emote did you get? Let's see. Glad you're coming for the end of the channel. Rip. Boo rubbish. Hey, don't call me rubbish. I'm great. Where's the properties? So, I've I've been setting it up so that the chat appears on... There we go. How to wipe the chat. There we go. So the chat over appears on the starting tree. But in black, it doesn't work. Sorry, in white, it doesn't work. But you can't see it in black on this screen. But you can't see it in white on the other screen. So, fantastic. This is going to be very slowly since he can't not read chat. Excuse me. Subscribe this month, spending 300 bits in one go, gets you an emote, and mine is rubbish. <laughs> I actually quite like that. Right, so, we are playing Hades today. I also need to remember to sit more centrally on the couch, because otherwise it looks really weird and empty. <laughs> this is going to be a day. Um, playing Hades today, I wanted something that I know kind of like the back of my hand, so that I can just kind of roll with it, uh, rather than having to like go with something that... You know, I might have to spend a little more time or brain power on so I can keep with chat and keep the commentary going. Hey, Dad, Dan. Hades is great. Hades is probably my favorite game of the year. <coughs> TSP, I'm also really sad about Frogman. Like, hands down, I think this game is just one of the best games released ever. Like, it doesn't help that um, the devs of this game, um, Supergiant Games, are one of my favorite game devs of all time. I think they've only got four games, including this, and only one of them is kind of like a miss, and it's Pyre, but it's still not bad. It's just mediocre. You don't hear me <laughs> you're on a call. That's fine. And he is with, I am without the iPad for chat. Bear with. I've got my phone. That's all I have. See you later. You're in the car. You're in your mum's car. Uh, hey, this is great. Just got past Hydra yesterday. <laughs> so, heads up before we go anywhere. I have beaten this game, so um, I'm doing, in essence, bonus runs. Once you beat the game, you unlock uh, this thing here, which it lets you add heat to your runs. So you can add um, little things to make the game harder. For example, all foes deal uh, bonus damage plus 20% per rank. Um, in order to keep, in in order to keep um, gaining like gear and things like that, you need to add heat on. So right now with this weapon, for example, I need to have four heat in order to like run um, to get anything from the run. <clears throat> so you unlock that, and I'm planning to do a couple of heat runs. You also gain the ability to like change your weapon and gain bonuses. So for example, I'll just show the bow off. Uh, aspect of Zagreus, which is the base form, and then aspect of Kyra and aspect of Hera, which uh, changes the way the weapon plays. So I'm probably going to wind up like using whichever weapon is on glowy purple mode. I don't know if it has a name. In essence, once per run, one of the weapons will say, hey, use me, and you get bonus shit, which is good, but I don't want to do that. So um, for now, I'm probably going to start with a bow run because bow is my favorite weapon, especially Aspect of Chiron, uh, which is more or less what I use here. Um, so I will be using that for a run or two and then probably like going with whatever is purple. So heads up, there will be spoilers. I've beaten the game, so um, I've done all the story stuff. So if you don't want to see any of that, you don't want to be here. Um, or do if you don't care. So that's fine. <clears throat> right. Anyway, let's get moving. So I'm going to be going with four heat. In general, I use forced overtime. All foes have bonus uh, move speed and attack speed. And higher damage for um, these sort of things. Because <coughs> it just makes more sense to me to give... Like, I play a very specific kind of build when I go this game these days. Which is, I use this. Pierce Butterfly. This is a gift from Thanatos. You gain plus two damage each time you clear a room in essence without taking any damage. So in essence, if my goal is to like not take damage anyway, it doesn't matter how much they attack and how much they do damage because I'm just not going to take it anyway. That's the theory. It doesn't always work. <coughs> so uh, we have played Hades once on channel before. It was quite a while ago. 
Pierce Butterfly is oof. Pierce Butterfly is really good if you can run if you run it right. That extra damage it can because it stacks up so high so fast. Okay, Artemis is not a bad start. So the way the game works is um, you get boons from gods. Um, they give you bonus effects. For example, your attack is uh, stronger with a 15% chance to uh, deal critical damage. Um, same with that, and your dash strike does more damage. As the run goes on, you get more and more buffs. The more buffs you have, the stronger you get. It's a typical roguelike affair. Um, in general, I should be okay. I'm not happy with that starter. Um, when I play with the bow, my general goal is to get as much as I can to buff up my special. So you have three or four abilities. Uh, first of all, you have dash, which is the thing that I'm using to slide around. You have a dash attack, so that's my dash attack. It just fires an arrow with this. Um, you've got your basic attack, which is this for now. And then you also have a special attack, which for me is these little arrows here and a cast. Now, you will not see me use cast very often except for boss fights because I just don't. Um, but this is the main crux of this weapon. Um, so sends out these four arrows, right? But with the aspect of Chiron on the bow, if I hit an enemy with the attack, it will put a little like marker on them. And then from there, all these will home into them. So um, it, they will deal as much damage as possible to that one target. They'll all home onto it. So in general, the build I want to go is to find as many things I can to buff up uh, the special. So I get one attack in and then just spam through it with, um, then just kill everything with the rest of it. Okay, hammer. There's one of these that is perfect, but it's not there. So hold attack to shoot rapidly, but you cannot power shot. Your attack hits up to three foes. Now, I don't want that one. It's really good. You love good cheese. This build can be super cheese, <coughs> but it's really good. Then your attack deals 150 damage to nearby foes. <sighs> These are all garbage, honestly. Like, normally, uh, bow, um, Daedalus Hammer is like top tier room choice, right? It's one of the strongest things in the game. It has probably the most powerful buffs that you can collect in the entire game, but. If it don't have the things you need, it's trash, and it just didn't. The one I really want is it gives my uh, special attack, so this thing, more shots. Uh, because they are home, the more shots, the better. Ah, uh, Uncle, Uncle Poseidon. Probably the least attractive of all the characters in the game. He's just, he looks wrong to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, special deals more damage and knocks foes away. is isn't terrible. But why is Poseidon not hot? Very upset. I don't... I just... He's just not. So the Y ability there is pretty good. But I want a different one if I can find something. So I can either get a key here. Or I can get just bonus currency in essence. I'm going to try re-rolling the key. To see if I can get something a little stronger than this. It's slightly better. Drake Fireball. Hello. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? It's nice to see new faces. That was really dumb. That was that was not a good start to that room. I just decided to step on a trap and just stand there for a second. So uh, that that there goes my Pierce Butterfly damage for this room. No damage. Hey. <coughs> so in general, if you see any shapes on the floor, um, for example, these little things, um, or like the spike pit I stepped on right at the beginning, they are traps. There are loads of traps in the game. They deal actually a shit ton of damage. So avoiding them is good. Unlike what I do, which is bad. Okay. In general, I think that if you were trying to get like into this game, the bow is like the best weapon to learn with. Traps also known as spiky no-nos. They are in fact spiky no-nos. Damn it, that was bad. Also things you'll hear a lot. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I'm more likely to mention something that I did by mistake than something I did by purpose. Sorry, but best weapon is the shield? Are you joking? Worst weapon shield. <coughs> okay, you're going to eat now. Try to have fun with the stream. Uh, try to keep the children under control. Also, what time are you eating at? It's like 20 to 4? 3? I can tell the time. Okay, Aphrodite. The one you eat across the room. Like, why yeet one thing across the room when you can do this? Pew! Like, goes across the room, but doesn't feel like it's made of lead. So this is uh, the mini boss that you can get on floor one. Um, it, it, well, one of the mini bosses. It's This one is by far the easiest. Um, he, you just don't go near him. <laughs> there we go. 
You heard me. Dead dummy, excuse me. No, no, no. We heard. I heard. So Aphrodite is probably not one of my favorite buffs. She does have some good stuff. So I'll take um, different league. What that does is it makes it so that I take uh, <clears throat> I take less damage from things that are close to me. Shield 2 Goliath Blood, uh, best upgrade. Is it? I haven't looked at it. Um, in general, I avoid the shield like the plague, I have to say. Um, my favorites are bow, sword I, I do enjoy, but uh, bow and spear are my favorites. Especially like the hidden upgrade for um, um, one of my Joy-Cons has decided it's not. So all we can do is run around for a second. One second. The best thing is, it's... Are you serious, Joy-Con? It's busting. <laughs> Give me a second. I might have to just quickly... I don't have any way to change this. <laughs> so my right Joy-Con has decided it doesn't want to work. I <laughs> this is perfect timing for this. Let's see. Can I get you to resync for me? There we go. I'm back. That was the worst timing for it. You ever want to see uh, Zagreus just run around a room for a second? It does that occasionally. Solo stream problems. Or is it Titan blood? It's like it's Titan's blood, um, for sure. Um, Dark Fart, Drake, even. But yeah, no. Just a wee jog, <laughs> just a gentle little jog around the room. I don't really need that. Um, so pretty. This game is just genuinely gorgeous. Let's go pull a thesis and escape Hades. Those classical Greek literature memes. Um, no, I'm so into it. I actually love this game, like for its little references, to, like Greek mythology and stuff like that, like. <coughs> It does a really good job of just kind of like giving a slight retelling of some of the the Greek stories like um, Orpheus and, Re and Eurydice is like a personal favorite story of mine just because of the musical Hades Town, um, which is an absolute fucking bop. It's a Tony winning award. It's a Tony award winning musical. It's really good. Um, it's like, but like having. Uh, Sisyphus as well as a character you can meet I don't know why but I genuinely feel like this game portrays Sisyphus perfectly as just this big dumb optimist tasked with an impossible thing like torturous for all eternity he's just like yeah it's alright you know I have my good days my bad days and it's just like I don't know I just love him so much oh thank you so much for the follow Drake Fireball we really really appreciate it we being me and the other person who's normally here um, we are um, a couple streamer, but as of right now, um, the partner is currently not here, so uh, she's Betty in chat chats when she's around. But yeah, so thank you so much for the follow, regardless. Protect Hades? <coughs> Why protect Hades? He's not a nice bean. Solo Luke Week. That's right, it's me and only me for a week and a half. Uh, I don't really want to swap that. I don't want that. Gain a random assortment of junk because getting gold is good in this game. Don't ever take me. I, so in these chambers, uh, you can get these chambers where you get a choice in essence. You get a choice of which god you're siding with and then the other one gets pissed off and starts attacking you because Greek gods are fucking petty. Like, they really is and I am okay with that. I kind of probably shouldn't have taken it. I probably should have went shop there instead because I'm not the biggest fan of either of the gods that I had a choice between there. He hasn't discovered that Betty is just a cardboard cutout. Wait, what? No. <laughs> just realize your name is all lowercase. I, I love it. Like, nothing wrong with an all lowercase name. I'm going to take uh, dash damage. How am I? I'm doing great today, honestly. Woke up at um, the, like a really odd time because the gerbils that we have knocked over their um, water bottle. And I was like, first time I've been in this flat really alone in like, since lockdown began because we ain't going anywhere and I just absolutely panicked I was like someone's in the flat because um, all I heard was like this thud from another room and I was like what's going on then remembered oh yeah the gerbils are still here um, love them pieces but rude awakening at the very least Lord Quay's God I didn't realise yours was uh, TSP like of course it is I've seen it so many times but I just I don't think it ever clicked for me uh, right I'm just going to focus on this for a second I'm in a bad spot this room but yeah, I'll do. But, like, it's not a particularly scary set of enemies because most of them are reasonably weak uh, HP-wise. So, like... There we go. That's pretty clean. Oh. Uh, sorry, I said, ah, in lore, uh, Olympus Hades is a bay and deserves the protect. 
Like, absolutely. Let's rise up against those who use capitals that act the fledgling phoenix. <coughs> so these pomegranates, what they do is they let me buff up um, pre-existing bonuses that I have. Right, so now I've got a choice of getting gold. Um, I generally don't find anything useful in these. Next boon you find has upgraded rarity is good enough for me to pick up. So let's go for that. Yeah, I woke up su super early as well. It makes me worry because I'm sleepy, but you're not close tournament later. Wait, what did I do? You have capital letters in your name, that's all. Um... It's very good luck in the tourney. Um, I like we were like when I found out when it was, I was tempted to go for it, but I was like, I don't want to just, I don't want to come off stream and do it. All right, so <clears throat> uh, this is chaos. Chaos gives you uh, one. You have to spend health to come get a chaos buff, and then you get like a curse for a certain number of rooms, and then a really strong bonus afterwards. Uh, we're going with added flourish. So for the next four encounters, I can't use my cast. So one of my buttons there, and then. Well, I can, but I'll just take damage if I do, and then afterwards my special deals more damage. And as I said, I really want to buff up this ability here. So the more I can get on it, the better. <coughs> Ooh, you got specials and the extra damage. Damn right I did. And that's what we're aiming for. The more we can get in that spe on that special, the better. Right, and we can pick up both these buffs here, which is nice. Sorry, Her Hermes, I don't care about you. Uh, whenever you are hit, you have a chance to dodge automatically. So it just, like, in essence says, hey, sometimes, did you get hit? No, 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 that one's on me, that one's on me. I haven't seen a better special buff yet, so I'm just going to get the one that does weakness. So Aphrodite's thing is weakness. It makes things do less damage when I hit them. So now I've got extra damage on my Y after a couple of rooms, and then um, it will then, from that point onwards, um, also like weaken them. So this is the first boss. This is the floor uh, one boss, which is the... Um, the Furies. I was saying in my head, Harpies, but it's not Harpies. The Furies. Um, you have one of three har uh, Furies that you can fight. Yeah, I got there in the end. Thanks, Fledgley. <laughs> like... Zer is close as she gets. Um, this is to Tiffany. They, they all have pretty much the same idea as a move pool, but like they vary ever so slightly, and I can never remember which one Tiffany is. Which does not help me. Tisiphone is like the one I can't remember, which means you should think I know it. She's the small room lady. So uh, she makes the arena that we're in uh, get like slightly smaller every time. This is fine. I'm just not going to bother attacking for a second. Oh, I might have practiced in this game. I haven't played in a little while. Um, there we go. Full focus mode for just a minute and then I'll get back to chat. This is what is going to happen from now on. Like, this is what our, my stream is going to be for next week, which is, ooh, time to, for me to, like, pay attention to a video game for just, like, just a minute, you know? And then I'll get back to y'all. Right. I hate it when the room is this small. Like, Tisiphone is, I'd probably say, the hardest one of the Fury, is a Fury to do without taking damage. Um... I take more damage on weird on other ones, but if I'm trying for it, I'm more consistently like to take one hit from Tisiphone just because of the room shrinking thing. Meg's the basic version. Isn't she the rarest of the Furies? Oh, one second. I'm just gonna read for a second. What do you and the captain of the Millennium Falcon have in common? You're both solo. Thanks, Proton. <laughs> that is a dumb joke, but I do love it. Uh, I don't know if she's rarest of the Furies. I believe there's a pretty equal chance to get them. Uh, you can also, with certain abilities on, have two at once, which is, uh, I hate it. That's um, obnoxious. Meg's the basic version, uh, Megara. She's so easy to kill. Like, if I take damage on her, I'm upset. And then also, Splatoon 2 community is giving me life right now. Yeah, so uh, the Proton posted one of our group chats recently um, that there's going to be, like, a Splatoon 2 tournament. And it's, like, like a, fa like a fan one. And... It's gonna be actually pretty good. Like Splatoon gets like pretty shafted in terms of like competitive games, and <clears throat> they've got them themselves together with a pretty good like prize pool and little things like that. So I don't know. I'm I'm pretty happy to like see that like the community is like, hey, we're going to do something. I don't know. I'm happy with that. Right. So this is floor two. Now uh, in Hades there are four floors and then the final boss. Right. So um, in general, my plan is. You go as far as I can while I'm like safe with the gift that I've got, the pierced butterfly, because that just means I've got higher damage for later rooms and later floors. But then when the floors start to get a little harder, I'm likely to swap uh, to the tooth. I can't remember what it's actually called, but it's uh, a tooth that you get from the character Skelly, because what he'll do is he will give me one extra use of death defy, and I'll explain that when it comes up. <coughs> 
Also, I forgot to ask, how did you find playing against Octo's third rank seed this week? Oofed! Um, I'll be honest, I got salty, but that's on me. Like, they were good. Like, they were phenomenal. So, uh, would you mind reminding me of their name? Because like, I'd like to talk about them and give them credit, if you remember. Um, like, I played against them in Smash. They are Bayonetta main, and they were... Doing the Smash 4 Bayonetta combos. Now, if you don't know what that means, it means taking you off the roof or not letting you play the game for a minute. Like, I got salty because, like, it was something that I am not used to playing against. Um, so I was like, right, I don't know what to do here. But, like, once I got over my salt, I was very much like, this isn't, you know, this isn't their fault. They're better than me and I need to learn. And, like, it was good to see, like... I then watched a couple more games of them play and watching them do the same thing and body other people was more entertaining because I wasn't the one getting bodied. So I was like, this is actually really cool. It's really good they can do it and it's good to watch. You can't remember the spelling. That's no problem. Let's see. They got their stream shut down for the Sporting Melee. So then they made a community made event named the Smash Event Nintendo Shut Down. Oof, that's ballsy. I love that. The depths of fuck they do not have. The two titans blood shield. You throw it, then it stays out like a blade rift. Uh, but you can attack. Oh, that one! Yes, I I have used that, and it is really good. Um. Oh God, I I'd probably say it's my favorite version of the shield. It's klutzy. That's it. Thank you. So yeah, klutzy. Uh, a bayonetta main on a bisexual octo's channel for Smash, and it's like they were really fun to play against in a way of like sorry they're really fun to watch play not fun to play against is my answer like and it's not because it's not because like i didn't like think they were playing fair or anything like that it's just because they were better than me and like to a level where i was like great i get three stocks here i got three stock two games in a row it happens move on and i'm, I'm okay with that oh dionysus so dionysus is probably my second hottest uh like, god in this game so, if it's any consultation, they beat me much quicker than you. Did they? I died real fast. You very much feel like a Greek goddess right now. You're lying horizontal on the sofa, eating, 40, uh, on the sofa, uh, eating 45 pence little pate and crackers, watching your suffering for your muses. Dionysus can get it. Dionysus can get it. Um, <coughs> he is my second hottest god in this game. Uh, my hottest god goes to Ares. Uh... Zero to death you twice. Oh no. I don't think I caught that. I, w I definitely watched your set against them, but like, whoops, I accidentally pressed the, the cast button, so I lost four health. Five health even. Um, but just. I don't know, they're good. And that's a. Uh, oof. I almost love that we don't have people as good as Octo's got where, when it comes to Smash. Like, we have good players in our, in our little group, but like, we don't have people who are as good as some of the people that Octo gets. And that's good, because I would get so much saltier. And I don't I don't hold my own on Smash streams very much. Uh, I can get pretty salty. I'm bad for it. I know that. Uh, but, yeah. So long as I'm winning, like, a game in every ten or so, I will be all right. Right. Artemis is definitely what we want here. Hey, versus number four in Octo's crew? Yeah, that's fair. I believe versus also bodied me, so... Right, this is a mini boss room. So you have two components to it. You have big droppy down dude, and you've got uh, the Medusa head in the middle. Now those little gray projectiles she shoots out can stun you like that. Um, so I have to button mash to get out. Um, and then the big dude, he doesn't need much explaining to figure out what he does. He dropped down if he land on you, ow. Oh yeah, and also missiles from lava. I always forget there's missiles from lava. It does not bother me. Once you kill the Medusa head, this thing's a breeze because, like, it's honestly not that much damage. You'd love to play with you guys, to be honest, uh, in terms of Smash. If you want to play Smash with us, we do it. We have a thing called Multiplayer Mondays. I'm actually playing Smash around this time tomorrow. So, um, one second. Critical effects deal more damage. After you deal critical damage to foot and you're by its marked. That's the best one I could probably take there. I was hoping for there's an ability there which is the Artemis can give, which is all damage has a chance to be critical. Um <clears throat> we play um we do a thing called multiplayer Mondays, which is pretty self-explanatory. We play um a multiplayer game where community can drop in uh, every Monday. Now, most Mondays we alternate, so we go uh, Smash Mario Kart, Smash Mario Kart. Um so because they're just really easy ones, you can get lots of people in. 
Um, so that's pretty easy there. Otherwise, um, as of this couple of weeks, I'm probably playing Smash this week and I'm probably playing Smash next week. Mario Kart's really good for us to do streams on when there's two of us playing because me and Betty can both play at the same time. But if it's just me, I prefer Smash. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And I want to get better. So there'll be a couple of Smash streams this week. Uh, let's just check the bracket. Doubt you're getting uh, the first round, even two second round is a definite loss. You got this. <coughs> Remember, it's always a learning experience. Here we go. <coughs> so, um, if you ever, we, so, uh, how do I explain this? If people don't play Hades, um, whenever you see like a little exclamation mark in the room choice decision, usually means there's a special character you can see, and this one it's Eurydice. One's per floor, uh, so it's Sisyphus, Eurydice, and then, oh, Patroclus, uh, which, Patroclus is the best one. Dang, you got school. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We are, we have to do it. I will play for a fair amount of time though, so, um, if you do get a chance after school, then I might be going down. The Silent Planner cheered one bit. Just pay penny fledglings to the God of Smash will smile fondly upon you. <coughs> also, hey Alpax. Don't expect to place high, but do hope to do better than last time, but bad brackets. Bad brackets are a thing that happens. I want to do the one that gives plus rarity on there. And then there's fledgling on the matching the penny. <coughs> we have an agreement here, and it's a good one. Right, so this... If I've got a shop here, I wouldn't be surprised if my next choice is Hydra. Um, cast does knock away, gain a random assortment of crap, or Hydraulic Knight. It means I do slightly more damage at the beginning of each room. Yeah, this is the boss. <coughs> right. So, there may be some focus time, so chat away if you want to. I'll read it afterwards. I need to, I need to fight Lerny. Because he has a name, boys. Lerny is the best boss. Once, like, he's, once, um we named the Hydra, it's just so much funnier. So, Hydra uh, does exactly what you'd think he would do. Um, after a while, he does this and grows extra heads and is a binch. I usually, so Athena, the God Athena one you get her as a buff, gives you a lot of reflect abilities. And I'm just gonna focus on killing that. I usually um, feel a lot safer fighting Lerny when uh, I have a reflect ability or two. But this isn't too bad because Bo can counter phase one and two of learning really easily because in general, he doesn't have too many super long range attacks. Now, each colored head of learning does a different thing. If you get this one where he's got the little two green egg sacs underneath his chin, it means he's going to spawn a bunch of enemies. So he acts as a spawner. Right. So after uh, phase one of this, he only spawns in three heads. Uh, this phase, he spawns in, uh, like, I think it's five. I can't remember it's five or six, but... He does uh, it like this, where every spot where he could grow a head in the side, he will grow a head. So this is should be all right, because I've just managed to get so far through this run without taking any damage. So there we go. One there, one there, one there. And there were, that, that's a one run, like a one fight. This is your fave boss by far. I love the design of this boss so much. Um... Honestly, my favorite boss to play against is uh, the final boss, Hades. Hades is just such a great fight, but learning is a good fight for sure. Let's see. <coughs> now we can. Bully Luke, he can't read. Oh. Dude, it's been a while since I played. Didn't know the Hydra had a name. I can't remember how it goes, but I believe that Zagreus one run just comes up and says, Joe, you know I'm fed up just calling you the Hydra. How about learning? And it's done. Yay, you can play Genshin now? Man, Genshin's such a great game for being a free thing. Like, for being just a free game, Genshin's great. Klonoa goes wahoo. I'm not late, but I am. You're half an hour. That's about normal for you. Hey, buddy, welcome to the stream. It's just me. It's me. <coughs> right. So this is Elysium. Uh, this is the second last floor of the game and by far the hardest one. Elysium, it can be a bit of a bitch. Like, so for most part, the, peop the, the enemies that you have to fight are these like mini dudes, right? So they're little people uh, with weapons, uh, but they spawn into, I'll try to show one off next, like in a second, because I got them way too grouped. But when they die, they become these little like shade blobs. So like this thing here, this little floaty dude here. And if you don't kill those fast enough, um, they will respawn. So they can be a bit of a pain. 
Elysium makes you cry. It's it <laughs> it's so so difficult. I did not get any of the stuff I wanted. Um, I guess I take explosive here because none of these are good. I don't want any of them. Attack fires two shots side by side. I don't want that because if I fire two shots, I only get to mark one thing. And oh wait, no, because it's this thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like this. <coughs> That's fine. Reduced range is dangerous, but it's not the worst. The Silent Planet. My name sadly doesn't work well for that. It does verbally, but I think anything works for that like works for that sort of thing verbally. So in essence now I just do a shit ton of damage with this now. So I may not need the special for most things other than bosses. Because most enemies will die to one hit from this. Especially because I've got crit chance on it. So if the thing doesn't die, it gets a it gets a special. Right, I need to just run away from these things. There we go. Damn it. They explode on, on damage. It's like a shotgun now. Yeah, that's actually a really good uh, way of describing it. <coughs> like... And it is good. Uh, special is more. Just for more boss shredding. Poseidon is my choice. What's this got? Nothing good. I in general I ignore the Well of Charon. The Well of Charon is decent. Uh, but apart from restocking Death Defies, I generally don't use it. Death Defy is something I want to explain but hasn't come up yet. Uh, so my health bar is in the bottom left of the screen. Um, that's what that is, the little bar. Now, there are three little circles above that. In essence, um, as you play through the game, you can unlock more uh, of those circles. I've got the maximum number you can, which is three. They're called Death Defies. They respawn you with a certain percentage of health after you die, which is insanely good. Um, so, if you go to zero, that's not the end of the run. Um, it is simultaneously one of my favourite mechanics of this game and one of my least favourite mechanics of this game. Because Death Defies are such a valuable resource, um, but you have to unlock them by playing the game in essence. So it's like, it's good, but the fact that you don't just get them from the start means you're probably never going to win your first couple runs. Thank you for following uh, Nomad4287. Hey, how you doing? Oh, a new person. Hi, Nomad. <gasps> fishing, fishing. This game does have a fishing mini game. It's not a real mini game, but it does have fishing. I don't want either of these. So I'm just going to reroll that in case I get something better. And I did. Dionysus is so much better. Wagwan. It's fair. By the way, I should tell you, I've been helping Oct Octo with Me6 dashboard. And when I linked my Twitch uh, to it to prove I was I was a mod, it gave me access to your Me6 bot as well. I haven't touched anything and wouldn't do it, but I thought it was only fair to let you know. <coughs> Interesting to know. I didn't know you could like let other people have access to that. I don't mind you having access to that. That's not a problem at all. If you see something that you think needs to be changed, just let us know and we'll we'll get to that. But like, cool. I did not know you could link someone to that. But thanks for letting us know as well. Right. So this is Asterius, the Bull of Minus. I fucked that up royally. So the boss of this floor is uh, two people. And Asterius is half of it. Um, you can get him as a mini boss halfway through the floor though, which is brilliant so he's a hard fight but um the great thing about it is if you beat him on this floor he comes into is as a mini boss he comes into the uh boss fight slightly with, with slightly less health um which is just great <coughs> i swear to hades is such a bastard of a boss oh nice wait i haven't heard wagwan in years i don't know what wagwan means what <laughs> um Nerds like Nerds, how's your day? And mine's great, thanks for asking. It's been great. Uh, woke up, played, like, I, I finally got my Apex Legends account back. Uh, we talked about this a little bit on stream very briefly, but um, my Apex Legends account got banned for no reason when I haven't been playing it, and I finally got that sorted out, so I'm able to play that again. Um, I, so I played a couple games of that, and I've been playing some League with Alpax as well, and we've been doing some really stupid stuff in that game, so we're happy. Let's see. It scared me when your dashboard popped up and thought it would look bad if you said I had, saw I had access. Nah, we wouldn't care. Wagwan means what's going on. That's fair. So it's down, it's a down south thing for TSP, so down in England. We're up in Scotland, so it's not a thing. I don't think I've ever heard that. Uh, it's not really said in Scotland, yeah. Fair. Oh, I am... Hades is a bastard of a boss. Just to go back to what I was said, uh, I take less damage when low health is good. <coughs> Hades is a bastard of a boss. One of the things I actually really like about the Hades fight is a lot of his attacks are actually, um, like 
teased, I guess, is the best way to word it. Like, <clears throat> they're retaken from other enemies and other bosses. So, like, if you think about it, his skull attack is very similar to, like, Lurney's eggs. Um, he, ha he straight up has um, Theseus's dash. Um, so, like, he has, like, dash spin attack. So, like, he has attacks from other enemies in the game. So you do actually learn how to fight him along the run. And I, I very much realized this like on like my third or fourth fight against him. And that's kind of what clicked um, in how to like beat him for me. Is like recognizing that all the attack patterns I'd done before. It was a really like helpful tool for me. <coughs> it's not Scottish thing for sure. Okay, cool. It's probably, one second, you just saw the Isaac picture in the background. Thank you. That was uh, Betty, Betty drew that. It's a little um, beggar. Second, I'm just going to quickly grab this. Fishing focus is real. I want it. Give, give, give fish. Give fish! <coughs> it's a clam! Nice. Second. Is this other English thing? Uh, any tips for beating stage two of Hades? It's really stupid, but just learn not to dash into lava. Dashing into lava is really bad. Um, skeletons are annoying. Reflect is really good for being in the first couple times because you can just dash through them. Like, Reflect Dash is top tier for it. Um, in general, like, don't try to stay in and hit. Hit, hit, dash. Hit, hit, dash works for most of the skeleton enemies because a lot of them do things very, very close range, like the wave shock waves or just swinging back and forth. So, like, just generally hitting and running away works really well for me. Let's see. I think it said in Cork in the north of Ireland. That's fair. Cool, I thought you were just out of touch. You're not that old yet. <laughs> Let's see. I've, def I've only ever heard... I don't think I've ever heard it until this chat, so that's fair. Yes, you can ask questions. Go for it. You know, he's trying to get a few gray hairs. No! Oh, uh, you just... Guys, don't be mean to Klonoa. They're allowed to ask as many questions as they want. So, yeah, just drop them down, Klonoa, and I'll get to them when I can. <laughs> it's my boyfriend! Yay! So... Look at this hot boy! Oh! Betty would be screaming right now if she was here. Because she is absolutely obsessed with uh, Thanatos. And there's a good reason for it. He hot. So whenever you get a floor with Thanatos, he, you get a few more enemies in the room. But he does help you kill them. But if you can... There's like now a counter in the top left. If we kill more enemies than him, he gives us an extra bonus thing. Which is really good. So he just gives us a little bit... Um, like a little extra health up. Like max health up. So he is a really good, like, room to get. But he's just random. Uh, whether or not you get him. I always... This is a huge thing where I, whenever I get his, um, a Thanatos floor is I get scared to step in his abilities like they're going to do damage to me. Uh, he does not touch you. He's just a friend. He's literally only an aid to you, which is just so good. Uh, I might let him take the rest of the room. Because I'm a little hurt. And I want to just take what damage I can. That's the last enemy. So I beat it, like, so long as I can keep a couple of enemies ahead of him, I'm okay with that. So that's an extra 25 health up for the room, and then he teleports over here and gives us another one. And also I get to talk to him. Yes, yes. <coughs> I'm getting close to getting the uh, romance options with uh, Thanatos, so I'm just like, please. Let's see. You asked two questions, right? What's my favorite color? My favorite colors are yellow and pink. What, Edgelord? Hey, he's hot! He's actually the god of death, so he's death incarnate. Yes, there are romance options in the game. You love good dating sim. Like, it's got a bit of a bit of everything. And what's my least favorite color? I'm not a fan of green, and very specifically, the specific shade of, like, Celtic football green. Because, um... I just have, like, I also have a little bit of a hatred for blue for the same reason, which is, like, I'm not a football person, and, like, Scotland's football culture is not amazing. So, like, well, Britain, UK is not great for it. And I just, like, have a bit of, like, a... Ugh, about, like, seeing those colours and me thinking, like, you're a football hooligan and I hate you. Like, so, there's a good answer. 
Oh, they're naturally like brown. Like, who wants to decorate something brown? Who wants like who's like who wakes up every day and be like I can't wait to see some brown in my life? You know. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to cause a death defy soon. I'm I'm happy with that. Like. This is one of the better floors to take a Death Defy on because, one, it's hard, so I don't feel like I'm gonna beat myself up for taking a death. Uh, secondly, ow, there's the Death Defy. Oh yeah, coffee's like one of the few good brown things. That's a good point. I very much just flicked up to see that comment. Right, one, two, three, nope. I need to kill that before it respawns. This is bad. I did really badly that room. I struggle with the, of all the, um, of all the dudes that you can get, they all have different weapons. A shield and bow are my least favorite. <coughs> Some constipation, you wake up every day and see brown Betty's hair. Oh, don't be like that. Don't let her know I said that now. Now I'm going to be, now I'm going to be bullied by my girlfriend. Um, yeah, I guess coffee's the one good brown thing. I'm into that. But yeah, this game does, it has dating options in it. It's not like a full dating sim because you can date all of them. Um, it's just got like every character in the game you can have like dialogue with and like make friendships with to gain bonuses and more story with them and um, some of the characters unlock relationship options later on um, most importantly are Thanatos and my personal favorite fucking Dusa Dusa is um, like um, like a house servant in the in your in the house of Hades and she's a little gorgon head and I just actually love her she's so cute I just find her so funny <laughs> Like, Dusa is, like, I think my... Well, like, that's why I put her on the overlay. She's, in fact, on the overlay. She's a little uh, Medusa head down the bottom left. Um, she's one of my favourites, for sure. I'm just going to focus on this for a second. Okay. I also like that there's no punishment for dating multiple characters in the game. So you don't have to, like, pick one. This is a really bad room for me right now. I should be fine for the rest of the run, but like if I do badly against the, the, the boss on this floor, the boss on this floor, uh, we're gonna have a problem. And I would hands down say, of the bosses in this game, uh, Elysium's boss is the hardest. Like Hades is difficult, sure, because he's high damage, but once you learn what to do against him, you can usually cakewalk him pretty easily. <coughs> How many nectars needed to be able to give someone ambrosia? I actually don't know the number. I uh, haven't counted, but I've been asking that question myself a lot. Less damage. And then random buff. Aphrodite is fine. Your critical effects deal more damage to weak foes. Isn't amazing, but I should take it. Okay. <coughs> this is the boss. So. As we said earlier, this floor's boss is a combination of King Theseus and the Bull of Minus, uh, Starius. So you have to fight these two at the same time, which is hard to say the least. But if you look at the Minotaur's health, he's already at half health. Well, not half health, but he's got like a good chunk missing. And that's because we fought him earlier in the floor. <coughs> so if you can get um, a Starius mini boss earlier in the floor, it is very beneficial to this fight. And also getting a heal there was very nice. Okay. I'm just gonna focus up for a second. Just dodge that. So whenever I do this fight, and I swear everyone does it the same way. Cause I've watched a couple people play this game. Uh, it's one of the things I'll often put on in the background quietly when I'm working. So I'll put sound someone else playing Hades on stream when I'm at work. Um, I always see people take out Asterius first. Because I just think that Theseus does more bullshit in his second phase, while Asterius just gets faster. So, um, this should be a pretty decent win now. I should be able to just clear this up pretty quickly if I don't fuck up. Because the thing about killing Theseus is that he has uh, a shield. So you have to hit him from behind. So, and then dodge that. So yeah, there's the attack that he does that Hades does. So once you learn how to dodge that, you can dodge Hades. <coughs> Let's see. I need to just run around for a second. Eee, there we go. So this is um, his special thing where he gets a buff from a god the same way you do. So um, he picks one god at random and gets a random ability. That was bad. So this one is Ares, uh, my favorite god in the game. So he just gets this like, he gets little spikes from the ground. That's 
that's really bad placement for me. I'm fine no matter how much damage I take, so long as I don't die, because I have the buff from Dionysus that heals me for full of fountain. So there we go. Let's see. <coughs> no scratch that chaos is bay. Chaos is bay. Ambrosia is a special thing, you're a fucking idiot. Wait, what? Yeah. You went to Google Ambrosia because I was thinking, man, why is this meal such a big thing in games? Because this thing's real. Because in Sims it brings people back from the dead, not realizing it's a Greek myth, myth thing. Yeah. Ambrosia's the nectar of the gods. <coughs> You've actually never seen him dash before? He does like a thing where he holds the spear up and then spins around. It's a type of custard, right? I fucking remember adverts from Ambrosia Custard and thinking it just looks like Tubby Custard from the Teletubbies. Right. So this is the last opportunity I get to change my um, trinket. So um, I've been talking about the Pierce Butterfly a lot. Now, I always at this point will change it to Lucky Tooth because what it does is it gives me another death, um, another like mini death defy. So and I should also just double check this. No, not there. That can sometimes give you um, a restore for death defy. <coughs> okay. So this is, I can't remember what the fuck this floor is called. <laughs> Wonder how long you can stay in an enemy's attack before dashing to dodge the attack. Depends on the attack. Um, like, obviously um, some attacks are, <coughs> so it's like you can't stand in, for example, like a crystal's laser for ages, but the the spinning attack you actually have like a pretty good window on <coughs> fishing time so the boss for this floor ladies and gentlemen the one and only our dog <laughs> so this floor doesn't have a boss per se rather you have a bit of a gauntlet hey any damage you have a chance to be critical that's what we've been looking for <coughs> um rather you have these rooms um, each room opens up a path. Oh fuck, I hate these things. Each path has a chance at the end of the path to be an item that you need to like beat the thing, but it also has poison in it. Poison does so much damage that it's not fair. I hate it. I hate it so much. Like the poison traps and enemies in on this floor are a little bullshit, I have to say. You can cure it, but you have to find one of these, these little baths here. They cure... Um, they cure poison off you. <coughs> this is fine. These things do not bother me at all, and those little blade traps aren't the most difficult things in the world to avoid. So, oh, hello. hello. Thanks for calling Connor a, Connor a how? Hello, nerd. Thank you. I am nerd. Usually it's nerds, plural. We are, um, I am one half of a couple streamer. Um, but my partner Betty is not going to be here for a week and a half or so. And also, thank you so much for Acid Raindrops. Hi. Hello. This, we're getting a lot of new faces in today. That's lovely. I, I genuinely think that because me and, um, as I said, the other streamer, Betty, um, we were um, kind of putting the stream on as a bit of a, this is a comfort game for you doing your first ever solo stream. So like, if you play this game, like you, you won't need to pay attention as much. We weren't excited to do this. It was a bit of a throwaway for us, but thank you so much to everyone who's dropping by today. We really, really appreciate it. And like, I'll be letting Betty know after the stream, hey, we got so many new faces in, and she will be ecstatic. So if you stick around uh, in a week and a half or so, you'll get to meet her. And she's my favorite person in the world, so. Oh, fuck this. Uh, where's a fountain? So that green effect just starts taking, that green effect on the screen is the poison. It just starts taking your health away like a motherfucker. And the rats and those satyrs, that's what those skippy things are, are the ones that cause it. If you get poisoned, you just stop fighting and you go find a heal for it. Because it does so much damage so fast. <coughs> that's fine. I'll get chat after this room, guys. I can see a couple of new comments in there. That's fine. So I think poison is meant to be a DPS check. If you kill the room quick enough that you don't take damage from the poison. Nope. Are you trying to get the duo boon from Artemis in the pink one? Uh, I've got the duo boon from uh, the duo boon from them. I've got one second. It's from Artemis and Aphrodite. There is heartrend. Your critical effects deal more damage against weak foes. Why don't you use the broken spear on the last stage? It's OP against poison and Hades. Yeah, uh, the the spirit of Guan Yu one because that is one of my favorite weapons in this game. It's so strong. Um, I just want to use a bow run this this time. And Ireland, no, uh, I am from Scotland. Uh, I'm Glasgow based here. Betty's English, but she's not here to then have that conversation with anyone. 
more crit chance because just having crit on the special is so strong I'm going to get a pong round next <coughs> how do you get them so early wait wait how do you get them so early in the run I got them uh, last floor I didn't get them early I got them uh, on the second last floor in the game I believe I either got them floor 2 or floor 3 so they, they did not come early at all oh the keepsakes broken spear harder um, I don't remember which one that is I usually run, um, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I was thinking broken as in like OP rather than broken as in like shattered. Um, I use pierced butterfly for the first floors and then I switch to lucky tooth normally if I lost a couple death defies and then get managed to replace them. So because I was only on uh, two death defies, I just kind of like, sorry, I was only on one death defy. So I was like, right, I kind of want the survivability for Hades just in case. So I switched to lucky tooth just at the end there. Right. Floor's done. I'm not going to fuck around and do any more. We'll probably just run straight through to Hades because that's a full heal. Have I died yet? I've taken two deaths. So I've, I've taken two death defies to some of the random enemies in the previous uh, floor. <coughs> um, but I haven't had a... Like, I haven't had a game over on the run. Um, and I, sh I, I... I'm confident I won't. Like, full health against Hades is strong. Makes you invulnerable for 1.25 seconds whenever you take damage, and it has a 7 seconds cooldown. Yeah, that's fair. That is good against the poison then. Um, I didn't know it did that. I don't think I've ever used it, because I've been so set in my Pierce Butterfly Lucky Tooth run that I've never really tried it. I'll try it next run. <coughs> I'll still probably take Pierce Butterfly for the first few floors, just because, like, it's strong, but that's so good. Here he is, Daddy Hades. He has such a good voice actor. Like, hands down, like, that voice is so good. I didn't think that uh, Supergiant Games would be able to get a voice actor with a deeper voice than uh, Rux from Bastion. And, like, they were just like, no, 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 no. We've got, like, a handful of them just, like, sitting in a back office somewhere ready to roll out. It's fine. So, Hades does a few things. One, fires out these skulls. I am very much the sort of person who likes to clean those skulls up because I am bad at dodging that. If you don't destroy the skull, they do that. I'm playing like an idiot because I'm talking at the same time. Uh, one second, there we go. And he does, so he does those skulls. He does a dash with his spear and I take it like a man because I'm a bad player. I am doing so bad. It's because I said, oh, I don't think we'll die to Hades. Um, there we go, kill that. That's another skull. I think I don't like this dual shot short range bow for this. It does a lot of damage, but because it's short range, I have to stand a lot closer to Hades than I would like for it. And without any healing or survivability on the build, it's not the best to take any hits to him. There are very few healing abilities in the game. Um, most of them are on weapons rather than on like abilities themselves. It's a dash, smack smack. Um, dash attack, smack that, smack that, right. About midway through each phase as well, he will spawn in random ads. So we're just like a couple mobs and I'm like, depending on the mob he spawns in, it's usually not too bad, but the skeletons are some of the worst he can drop in. Where is he? And this is that one Dark Souls boss that you have to, Priscilla Halfbreed, where you have to like watch it for his footsteps. Once again, bye bye guys, chat. <coughs> um... I'm not looking at you for a second or two just because Hades needs to die. Is it the same voice actor as Rux? So they don't have multiple people. I thought it was two. Because it doesn't, he doesn't sound anything the same as Rux. So Rux in Bastion has like a deep southern drawl, but deep all the same. Right, that's this. Where is he? Top left? Top right. That's just me missing his, that's just me missing up left and right. I knew exactly where he was. It's fine. So the other thing is, I do wish you could shoot the um, skulls out of the air. This is not a one run, unless I get super lucky on phase two. Um, just because I'm playing a bit bad. I'm a little out of practice. I haven't played the game in like a couple of weeks. Um, just because I've been so obsessed with Pokemon lately that I've just not. That was dumb. Do, do, do. So this is his last chance. I've got 100 health to beat him. And he does about 30 in a hit. 
Okay, so I've only got phase two to do now. So he gets a full heal, because he's a little bitch. And now he does more damage. And it moves faster as well. And does this attack. This attack, you just generally want to just hide. One. This is still theoretically winnable. I just need to not play like a tool. If I can just keep distance from him and only attack when it's absolutely safe to do it, I have a chance. Right. Ah, I forgot about vases. Oh shit, there's one down there as well. I'm just gonna run away from that. That's lasers. Okay. I'm going to read chat in a second or two, guys. I'm sorry about the absolute silence from me. <coughs> lasers too, that's fine. Could you get a little closer to me, buddy? No. Come on, Dad. So for people who don't know the game at all, uh, that was bad. Just because I could see that happening as I took the hit. So because I got hit by um, the, the vases when they break, create a little pool of gunk. Um, and those, that gunk stuns you. Um, because I got hit by one, I then got hit by the shockwave sent out by the skull. Okay. This is one of the most clutch Hades fights I've had in a long time. <laughs> Just because, like, I'm so set on this being theoretically winnable that I'm like, I shouldn't give up and I shouldn't, like, try to panic about it. There we go, that's Oh, that was annoying. I hate those vases. Dude, it's, it's... Right. So... Can I drop a spoiler? I only do it if you know he's ahead of us. Uh, I have beaten most of the games, so you could. It was close. I'm, I'm happy I'm happy with that run. Um, let's see. So you should chop his tail off for a dex dagger. I always forget that you can chop off Priscilla's tail. Also transistor in transistor and the voice empire. I knew it was the voice empire. Uh, but I didn't know he was the transistor as well. I need to look up the voice actor for these games. Healing on weapons can only be obtained when you're playing with uh, Zagreus's aspects, either with sword or with spear. Yeah, I knew that. That was close. I'm into that. While you're at a run, can you turn up the game? <laughs> sure. Whoop! Yeah! Waddle over to the computer. Guys. No one told me the game audio was muted. The game audio was just off. Everything you were hearing was looping through our microphone for the TV. For some reason, the Elgato was muted. <laughs> um, GG, I very smart. Right, I think we get to bone now. Drop heat on extreme measures, you will fight a new Hades. It's so new, try, I haven't. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Hot boy, hot boy, why are you so hot? Very hot boy. <sighs> Still no dating though, I'm not there far enough through that line. So there's a few things that I'm currently working on in this game, uh, in terms of like the social things. I'm working on Achilles Patroclus, I'm working on Medusa, and I'm working on Thanatos mostly. to date Chaos. I wish Chaos was a dateable option because that would just be so much fun. Yes, yes, do so, do so. Thanatos has a crush on us, it's not so comfortable. Thanatos gonna have a crush on me all day long. I love him. Like, he's so hot. I, I can't. No, he's great. <laughs> I love Deuces so much. I wonder if that's the next part then of Thingy storyline. So, uh, the hard part about playing this game like this on stream, when I've done most of it off stream, is like y'all won't know what's going on in terms of all the politics and like relationships in this fucking household. So, um, 
Patroclus and Achilles is like the gay love story in this game and there's a gay love story and I love it so much um Patroclus is a character you can meet on floor three and he refills all your death defies so he's fucking great and I love him <coughs> um but Achilles is just moping around because he's like I love him but he's so far away and I could go get him but I don't want to leave and I'm like I want him to go I want you to go kiss your boyfriend Hypnos is one of the characters I don't give a shit with a shit about and here's my mum. That's my mum. I brought back to hell. Zag is a player too. He swings between Doucet and Fury. <laughs> and, and Megara. Like. <coughs> Megara, I'm like. Nah. I'm not that fussed about Meg. Uh, I do love Dusa And I do love. Good boy. Remember kids? Pet the dog. I gave him juice instead. Here you go. Have some juice dog. Heart up for dog. I need to treat the dog more often. I also don't do his storyline. Uh, there it is. Pet the dog. You always pet the dog. Like, we do stand Dusa in this household. I, I just genuinely love her. I think she's hilarious. The first couple times you meet her, she's so shy. She won't talk to you. She just goes, ah! And runs away. You seem quite agitated as of late, my friend. Hi, Orpheus. Why the fuck did they make Orpheus look like that? That's fine. Oh, well, I truly understand. I was reluctant to discuss my long lost muse really for quite some time. Well, <coughs> if you do require some emotional support, know that I. Oh, I, I'm here to discuss my long lost muse. muse. It's your fault, she's fucking lost me. Chaos seems to have taken somewhat of a liking to me, Nick. <coughs> they mention you. Bye, Spruce. Missing you already, buddy. You barely lose a run. Just play aggressive and wreck the game easy. It's fair. Like, I lose occasionally um, certain heat things I do wind up struggling with. I'm, I, I'm on around, like, I can, I have beaten a five heat run. Oh, Meg's in my bedroom. Hi, Meg. I love all the dialogue in this game. What I'm trying to say is when my sister's involved, it changes things. It takes some of the pressure off me. <laughs> some of the pressure? Wait, what are you going to do? I'm saying I know you're doing what you have to do here, Zagreus. And my sisters and I will always try to stop you. But I'm only doing it because I have to. Understand? Bye, Meg. You're out of pate and crackers and now you're very sad. Oh. I believe that means I can date her now. That's good. So each character has a lock on their storylines and a, like a thing. So <clears throat> you do have to like do certain events and things to get more of their story in essence. I in general don't gift the gods because I don't care. But I need to care because they do do things when you <laughs> make friends with them. Um... It's a problem that I have where I just don't care about most of the gods in this game. Right. Next run. Let's go. So first things first. We gonna swap back. Go off for Meg Nectar. Then I'm um, Ambrosia and you can get her summon now. <clears throat> um, she won't, I won't be able to offer her things until she's back in the house now. Right. She won't be back in the house. I'll double check. But I say go fists. I'll have a look. Eee. I haven't got this special thing for fists yet, and I really want to, because fists are all right. Yeah, she's not in the house. Oh, hey. Best character. Best character right here. Dusa great. Love Dusa. Single fists. You know what? I'll take chat recommendations. You yell first. I'll go fists. I am bad with fists. Fists are a way to watch me lose a run. Um, in general, my ordering would be bow, spear, sword, gun, fist, shield. Um... Fists are glowy, fists are good. 
So I usually go um, uh, Aspect of Demeter, which in general means that I do this, and then big punch. And I'm going to take, I've got my, my butterfly, let's roll. So fists, lots of little dash, like lots of small attacks, and I get some big punches. Essentially Mr. Petal now. Uh, that being one of um, TSP's role-playing characters, and yes, that works. Fill the heat gauge to one. That's how bad I am with these things, is I haven't bothered to do any heat with them yet. Let's go. <coughs> What's the worst that could happen? A lot. My debt place just cause four. Since I was watching the film for a while, good good run though. Thanks for thank you for support. Thanks for dropping by. We really appreciate. It. Go enjoy yourself. Have fun. <coughs> Ooh. Zeus. Zeus isn't the most attractive god either, but like he gives off certain daddy vibes. That I'm just like I'm fine with uh, attacks emits chain lightning. Let's go. Also, I need to finish the fight first and then. We'll get those. There we go. Easy peasy. That beard, though, <coughs> I think that's what gives him the daddy vibes. And I'm kind of okay with that. But, like, I don't know. He does have a very, very majestic little beard. Right. I'm a little nervous because I'm using a weapon I'm not the best with. Like, I'm very likely to take early game damage using these because they involve going so close. That there's not a lot of survivability in the mother than just beat things before they beat you. That's why use the app again, lol. If you do, swing by. If you don't, don't. Like it's up to you. We appreciate having you for this one. <coughs> Hello, Lady Chaos. What you got for me? I could have gifted her something, but I didn't. I'm bad. Zeus is funny. Zeus is great. He's just he's interesting at least. After boons have a chance to be thing. I have less movement speed though. That's what I want. So now I move at this speed. Hello! Slug move, but um, getting higher chance of rare boons just means I have better stats in essence later on. So when it comes to like DPS checking bosses and stuff like that, I'm just going to be stronger. Like in essence, you have <coughs> certain legendary buffs um, are like the exception to the rule, which is like they can only come in legendary form, but all other boons that you get come in different like level of rarities, and the rarer you have them, the more their stats are. But have you seen his swan from apparently? Uh, like, have you seen his swan form? Apparently, it's really sexy. The stories we believe. Yep, yep, I believe that. I just didn't see that in comment. Sorry, Fledge. In order to actually finish the game, you gotta offer all Olympians like six I oh nectar each. The one I'm um, Broji each. I like the joke. Okay, I'll start giving the gods nectar. They don't need to drink anything. They're gods. The game was just okay with me standing on that trap there for a second. Zeus. So we'll give Zeus a present. Ah, but they're meant to be bad. Ooh, interesting dilemma. If your bad joke's good, is it still a bad joke? Mm. <coughs> I've got a double cutter, so I'll just kill whatever spawns there. I, in general, like, of all the floor one enemies, I think those lightning crystals are, like, my least favourite thing. I think they're called Brimstone. Zeus, do you want a drink? Um, Uncle? <laughs> Unky? Unky Zeus? So he then gives you, um, whenever you first give someone a nectar in this game, they give you um, a keepsake, and those keepsake are the things that give you buffs and run. Now, the gods always do the same thing, which is, in essence, <clears throat> if you get a a god one, it makes it so that, I might want to alter this, I don't want Aphrodite right now. Artemis is fine. Um, they make it so that the first boon you get on a run is always there. So if I equip that... Um, if I equipped the Zeus's buff there, it meant the next one I started, my next uh, buff would be Zeus. And like, 
it can be good, but like, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Like, if you are looking for a very specific thing for a weapon, like let's say you really enjoy running uh, Spear plus Zeus, right? Then it can be really strong if that's what you're aiming for. <coughs> but I just think they're a little bit underpowered compared to some of the other stuff. Zeus has the best boons for auto attacks. Yeah, exactly. So like, Fists plus Lightning, great. And same with Zeus plus Spear, because Zeus plus Spear is really strong. Um, because you can just wind up with like absolute like lightning pools of bullshit. But like, and I have used them a couple times for um, getting Artemis buffs early, because Artemis I find is a good god if you get her early, but can be a little bit underpowered if you don't get many palms for her. Because <coughs> a lot of it's to do with chance and like, you know, increase your chance to do this, increase your crit chance, increasing it. And like, I want that number to be higher and higher. And the only way to do that is to like buff them up with the palms of power, so the pomegranates. Um, but like, if you don't get any palms, you don't get any buffs. And like, if you get the palms early, you don't get them. And it's like, just it maximizes your chance to get good at it. That was a messy room. Uh, I guess I go shop here, but I want to. See. What does Sisyphus really give? Me? Yeah. So that's Sis. Oh, I just want to show off Sisyphus. I like seeing Sisyphus. <coughs> Shop is the correct answer. Sisyphus is the fun answer. Oh, palms, pomegranates. I thought you were giving pom poms to the gods. Uh, no, pomegranates. Because um, it's Hades, so Hades pomegranates. Oh, God, your brain's useless today. Never, it's never not been. I mean, sorry. <coughs> Meat. Uh, meet Sisyphus, Himbo Energy. Looks a little creepy. Welcome. Oh my god, I finally get to meet Boldy. I love Boldy. Here. So he gives this little thing. I'm just going to take some gold because gold is great. Meet Boldy. Look how happy he is. <laughs> I love the I love the concept of him just being like, right, I've got so Sisyphus, the story of Sisyphus is that he is tasked with permanently rolling a boulder up an infinite hill, right? So that boulder will always come crashing down and he'll have to just start getting from scratch, right? I love him being an optimist in this game. I love him just being like, yeah, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's great. I just made friends with Boldy. I just draw a little happy face on Boldy. Boldy's fantastic. I love it. <coughs> I think he likes you. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, nice. These are really good. Right. Your attack does plus five damage for each consecutive hit is good. Your dash strike does more damage and it's adds to the attack sequence. I don't think I've seen that one. Can you date Boldy? I wish. I really wish you could. Your dash cat, your dash, dash upper uh, deals 100% damage in the area. I'm going to take the consecutive hit one. Because I like consecutive hits. <clears throat> I don't believe you can date Boldy, but in my eyes, I'm already dating Boldy, so. Oh. Okay. I'm not. Ha I've had a couple of messy rooms, so I'm not that one included. Um, I'm not really where I'd like to be with the Pierce Butterfly right now, which is a little annoying, but. Eh. I can get there with it. Like, Pierce Butterfly is, an, is one that gets, like, better the more you get it. Otherwise, it can feel a bit of a dead start. But, I don't know. Pierce Butterfly is fine to be top tier. It's weird, because I've been looking at some of the, like, the recommended stuff, and I don't see a lot of people saying, oh, Pierce Butterfly. But I've, like, I've only ever had, like, good times with, with the Butterfly. More lightning. Ah, uh, shop. So... Say who? No video game is going to tell me who I can and cannot date. Exactly. Oh, why do you always give me her? I hate her. When fools are saying they, d they deal damage to nearby enemies. Sure. And uh, more lightning damage. And then the tiny bit of healings. I've got the gold for it. No fish there. Meet Charon. Great talking to you, bud. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. This is gonna be my girlfriend. Meg. Meg the stalker. She 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 is a little bit. But to be fair, is she stalking us or are we stalking her? Because she's always just waiting here. We're walking we're coming to her. We're the one who knows where she's going to be and are walking towards her. Right. Bug standard Meg. Last run I said I feel bad if I take damage to her. Um, which probably means I'm going to take damage to her because I'm not having the best run. So in general, uh she dashes, she does big AoEs, she dashes again, I took damage. I just dashed into the pillar, which was bad. Just gonna go for a little focus time just so I can get this sorted out. Where's the other enemy? So I knew there was another um, small dude there that I was trying to get rid of. Five, that's fine. I want the next cutter up. Oh, wasted that because she shields. So every now and again, she shields and spawns enemies in. Which, by the way, thing Hades does. That's what she, that's what he picks up from her, from the first floor boss. Like, it's a weird thing. I'm not sure it's like actually done like that. But I do think that she was in your bedroom though, without her permission. That's true. By the way, didn't you offer your why, why didn't you offer your mom nectar? She gives you one really good keepsake. I think I've got um her keepsake. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I also need to remember to not take as much damage because I don't have the Dionysus buff I had last time. Uh, one of my favourite buffs in the game, Dionysus makes it so every time you get to here, you always have a heal between floors. It gives you plus 3% damage and heals you to full every time. Uh, yeah, after every 6 encounters you gain a level to random 1. That's hers, right? I believe. And then that's the one, the Broken Spear Point, I don't have. I need to get that sorted out at some point and level it up. <coughs> So each um, keepsake you get starts at level one. It has three levels, and it the more you use it, the more it levels up. So you do actually have to grind out each one as well, which is definitely like one of the reasons I still use the butterfly all the time because of the fact that like I am used to like so it's at level three. So like, it just makes more sense to me to be like, oh, use the one that's already there rather than the one that's like not quite there yet. Right, where are we? Skeletons. That's fine. That was stupid. I could see him charging up an attack. I kind of just thought I might be able to get to him before he went off, but like, I did not. Why do they call it keepsakes? Just say rings. Well, not all of them are rings. The Pierce Butterfly is not a ring. Uh, a tooth is not a ring. I mean, I get it. Like, like for me, it's like, why don't you just call them trinkets or something? Like, keepsakes is such an interesting like term, but I guess because like, you get given them for making connections with people, which I get why that would then be a keepsake. I'm just going to buff this because it hasn't been buffed yet and I've got a boon for it right now. <coughs> Time to see Eurydice again. Right. Yep, me. Keepsakes are more about connections. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I always just go for that one unless I've got a decent thing for it. So that just makes it so the next uh, buffs I have have more likely got to be higher rarities. Oh, I love her. I love Eurydice's design in this game. It's just a shame it's partnered with Orpheus's. So uh, I mentioned it like quite near being stream, but like one of my favorite musicals of all time uh, is Hades Time. So it's a retelling of the story of Orpheus and Eurydice. Um, most specifically the end of their story. Um, oh, now I'm full focus. Um, and like, but set in like a post uh, depression era thing, uh, a bit more modern, set in trains with like drinking and stuff like that. It's just genuinely a good time in general, but I very much think of, a ah, boom. I very much think of um, Orpheus and Eurydice like that like in that form and then seeing Orpheus in this game where he's like like a small emo child is so so in like so weird to me like it's so alien because I'm like like Orpheus in that is like this like 
really small, innocent, naive child. But this game does something that uh, most tellings of Orpheus and Eurydice don't do, which is uh, Orpheus is dead. Like, the end of Orpheus's um, story is that, like, spoilers, Eurydice dies, um, well, is sent back to hell, um, and he lives on. And in general, usually that's where it ends. Um, but in this, they were just like, no, no, this is the aftermath of um, that story. Which I just think is really interesting. Plus four critical chance for everything. We'll take it. Because we're not going to credit anything else. <clears throat> Sometimes you dig your brain so deep just to remember they're actually keepsakes, not rings or runes. Like, I know what you mean. Like, it's such a very specific thing to call them. But as I say, like, it does make sense in context. For sure. Hey, I see a fish. He don't live on. He was looking for her, but she was dead. He didn't look. Well, he, he kept looking for a way to solve the problem, but um, he sent her back to hell. The end of most of the end of the story of uh, Orpheus and Eurydice is that um, Orpheus succeeds in convincing Hades to let Eurydice out of hell, but Hades gives them the condition of they have to walk out of hell, and he has to walk in front of her, and she has to walk behind him. And if at any point he turns to make sure that she's still following, um, she goes back and there's nothing else that he can do about it. So um, Orpheus, it depends on the telling, but like in some he looks back because of doubt that she's following and like um, like this, like in essence, crippling anxiety that she's not coming. Um, and in some he turns around at the end because he forgot. Uh, I believe the original Greek is that he just turns around at the end because he's like, I made it out, forgetting that she hasn't yet. <coughs> and turns around at the first available opportunity that he thinks he can. They get reunited, don't worry. I know they're doing this, but like in the Greek tragedy, I don't believe they ever do. Because that's why it's a tragedy. But like, it's interesting for sure. I really like that um, the musical Hades Town. I'm going to gush about this. This is my opportunity to talk about Hades Town today. Um, <clears throat> frames it. Hades Town was released in, like, well, grew to popularity around Trump um, being, like, in office. And to the point where it has a song called We Build the Wall. <laughs> um, ooh. 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 That one, please. Um, we don't know the original. We don't know the original. There are hundreds of different tellers. We aren't sure which came first. Yeah, that's definitely fair. Uh, that's the thing with all these things. I was actually watching a really good video essay on the workings of Confucius recently uh, by Philosophy Tube, um, and like a very similar idea where it's like, well, people are using Confucius's work to decide how to do things, but no one really knows what was said. Um, hey Artemis, uh, crit and marks. That's fine. Palm power. Learning boss fight. Yeah, so around Trump's red power, they have like they did it, and the whole point of the the song is no matter what, like you know, as a, the whole like kind of moral of the show is like this idea of like you know, as a people, we do do really tough things and see really tough things and deal with tragedy in a really unique way where we like we do just move past it and like every time we like we're going to get past every sad event in life and I'm like I don't know I just. I really like a lot of that show. So Hades Town, best musical, hands down. Everyone should listen to it. Uh, no one's allowed to see it yet because I haven't been able to see it yet. Uh, <laughs> Betty is always looking out for tickets for Hades Town for me because like she is desperate to pay to let me see that show at some point. Um, but yeah, it's great. Also, a lot of Greek tales are the telling of proto Hellas myths, which were orally told. Yeah, exactly. I knew they came, I wouldn't be able to tell you the exact phrasing that you used there, but um, I knew they were original, or, um, you, know, you know, just original, like, um, oral stories. Did our Twitch just, did my Twitch just uh, indicate that we were just going live? Not Twitch, uh, thingy. I think my, um, my, my phone just buzzed to tell me I'm live, and I'm like, hmm, intriguing. Um, wondering what caused that. Hey Zeus, do you want to help? Zap these bitches. Yeah, I definitely need to get more Zeus buffs for this run to be better, but we'll see. We'll see what we can get. No. I definitely think that I'm probably going to drop Pierce Butterfly Floor earlier and get that broken spear point. Um, 
you know, if it's apparently really good for Hades, then I want to get it leveled up at least once before... Ow, that was really stupid of me. It's just DPS learning down. Okay, got it. A lot of Greek tales were... Yeah, that's fair. Uh, come on, Fledge. Obviously, all these tales are rip off of the original Disney property. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> My fate... God. We're going to talk about fucking Hercules? Because fuck that film. I'm not, like, I like Hercules, but the stories behind, the, the, the reason why Hercules is Hercules is really interesting. Another great video out, um, essay by Lindsay Ellis. You check his music and purchase them from Contractor. There are two hidden tracks you can get by turning up heat all the way to four on Extreme Measures. I don't want to do Extreme Measures, I'm bad. Uh, I've listened to the two hidden tracks though, so I knew about them. <coughs> yeah, you can unlock all the music in this, which is interesting. Let's see now. Oh, I've got Pokemon Go egg to hatch. Nice. Alright. I didn't change my keepsake. I'm so used to not doing it that I didn't do it. I'm a dumbass. I was going to change it to the spear point so we got a couple levels up. So I was maybe on little tier 2 before uh, Hades time. But nope. Oh, I just walked into that. That was dumb. This is a dumb floor. This is a bad start for this floor already. I don't particularly like like the mini carts. So these little um, these little chariots uh, explode on contact. They are in essence suicide bombers, and I freaking hate them. But depending on the weapon, they can either be super obnoxious or just like absolutely not there. Dash deals damage and deflects. I'll take the deflect, deflect dash any day. Deflect dash is like my number one go to safety item. You forgot, must be thinking of a different culture. <coughs> like, God. No, oh, bad. Original Greek stories are great. I was the mythology gay. Like, like, I was the sort of, like, like queer kid growing up that was just like, I will just be obsessed with some, like, certain mythology stories. And I just love it so much. To be honest, probably Disney did help with that, like, for all the shit it does of, like, absolutely sterilizing it, at least it's like a gateway, right? It's only half a different second between level 3, um, Broken Spear and level 1. That's still half a second, though. And I'll take half a second, you know? <coughs> we got a Lambent Plume! Hermes is strong, but I'm not the most fond of him. Uh... Automatic charge up of God of God Gauge, so I didn't really explain God Gauge. Um, you can get what's called Call. It's an extra ability that you need to like in essence unlock from each character. Uh, not like in terms of, like I don't know if unlock the right term. You have to find the boon for it. Um, in the bottom left, there's a little bar that charges up uh, when you deal damage or take damage, and it causes like you get to call God's aid in essence. So I've got um, Zeus. I use him in the learning fight. Uh, he does this and causes like lightning bolts to zap around anything around me, which is strong. It's a pretty good boss shredder, I find. The damage on it is like the damage output is good. I just want to dash kill this so I don't get hit by the butterflies. <coughs> really weird sentence you have to say playing this game is I don't want to get hit by the butterflies. While using attack, you're sturdy. Three hits even sucks. A charge shot deals 50% damage. I'm just going to take sturdy. Heal. See, see, uh, must have been the Roman Pantheon. Lol. Same, I love myth. It's one of the reasons I study classical history, because uh, the myth got me into that time period. That's fair. Thank you for following Meme Tendo. Hey, how's it going? Um, <coughs> from what I've seen, the Immortals game is a pretty good Greek mythology game as well. The new one, uh, the Ubisoft one? Like, I, I, I've seen stuff for it, but I'm not, like, I've seen one, I only ever saw one review on it, and that review was not particularly positive. Uh, it wasn't even a review, it was like a pre-release copy of the game, uh, given to them for review purposes. Uh, it was Alpha Red playing it, and he didn't particularly enjoy it from what I saw. So, like, it's interesting. I'd be interested in it. Like, mythology is such a great place for, like, to base video games in, right? Like, we talked a little bit about when we played Raji, an ancient epic, which I was never the biggest fan of. Betty enjoyed playing it, but I just felt like the story was a bit of a cop-out while the lore was good. <coughs> Based off of Hindu mythology. Yeah, the one Monster Energy drink sent an S and D letter to. Yes, that one. I forgot about that. Um, God, it had Monster in a name or something, didn't they? They were just like, oh no, no, not that. 
Right. This is uh, the bad mini boss that you can get in this floor. In essence, you have a giant ball that shoots light, like butterflies out. Those butterflies hurt like a motherfucker, uh, and they fire a lot of them out, but also they spawn in these little dots. And as I said last time, if those dots are left alone, they spawn into full enemies, and those enemies can hurt quite a lot. So I hate this room. Like, this is one of my least favorite rooms, because one, it means I have to do a full Asterius fight to get in when I get to the, the champions, uh, and two, it can just get out of hand if you don't deal with it. Yeah, the guy I'm watching is really into it basically hinges on whether or not you like the humor, which is very dad jokey. That sounds like my sort of game. I love dad jokes. Lightning effects cause makes fools jolted. Means that when they attack they take a little more damage, I believe, so that's pretty good. That's fair. I'm I like see the thing is like it looks fine, like it looks very Genshin, Breath of the Wildy, uh, which is a cool like thing. I like games like I enjoyed Genshin a lot, and I enjoyed what I played of Breath of the Wild, so I'd probably enjoy it a fair amount, but like, I have Genshin. Why would I play something else? It's meant to be like a Legend of Zelda game. Yeah, I remember them saying like, I remember a lot of people saying that when it was like, uh, when it was announced. I remember looking at that announcement trailer, I remember watching it at the E3, it was announced, I'd be like, no, it's alright. And then like, the more and more that like, stuff came out for it, the more and more I was like, I don't think I'm going to play this. Like, for one, Ubisoft have had a de very rocky year with certain things. Like, while a lot of the the bad people have like been uh, left, they have left the business. They have left the organization. Um, very much by their decision. Oh yes, very much. Um, you know, I just oh, I need to pay attention because I can't see the bobber, so I need to listen for it. There is. To be honest, I would rather play it than Genshin because I hate gacha games. <clears throat> That's fair. I am not the biggest fan of gacha games either. Um, like, I would like more control. Like, I don't mind gacha elements in games, right? So if I'm like playing a game, I don't mind it if it's like one particular item is based on a gacha thing because gacha can be fun. Like, I enjoy random chances. Like, I am a TCG player. I'm a card game collector, I love opening packs, and I love getting that rush from things, right? And am I aware that it's a bad thing? Yes! Very much so! But I do like doing it. <clears throat> so this is Hot Boy Patroclus. I can see why Achilles mourns him. Because he's hot. I want... So he can do this. Kiss of Sticks Premium. Replenishes all use of Death Divines, which is... Top tier, but I don't have Death Defiance charges due, so regain life. I'm pretty low on the health bar that I'm on. It's not really a bad thing. Personal also didn't like Breath of the Wild. And Likes Immortals says it feels more like a traditional action adventure game that's just added some mechanics. That's fair. <coughs> like, yeah, gadget elements have a place in games. It's just that gadget elements should not be able to be purchased. Like, gadget elements that are central to progression and that require in essence monetary like investment to get most of what you need out of it so like like it's it can be get like the problem with gacha is yes it can be fun but is it easier to make it predatory than it is to make it fun absolutely <coughs> so like i don't know it's a really tricky line to walk and i think that most game devs uh, don't want to go away sir in the car uh, don't want to walk the lane they don't want to figure out the right balance they just want to fucking overcharge and make you like spend out your teeth for like random accessories and crap like it benefits them more to make an unhealthy um, like monetary structure using gadget elements than it does for them to make like a really well thought out one so I don't know like it's really really it's really tricky because like on the one hand, I would love I games with gacha elements. Like genuinely, I kind of like I'm like at my core, it's like sign me up. I want to I want to fake gamble on stuff. But at the same time, fuck them, fuck them a lot.
always welcome your appearances out here. I know it's not been easy for you, Tan. That's fair as an assessment, I would say. But then again, it's never been an easy time for me. <coughs> I know I have to do my job, but I don't have to keep on helping you like this. I love him. No. He's just so nice. Oh, 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 we can potentially date him soon. But it's gonna be so angry if I date him without her here. He's, uh, so Purge says it was more like pre uh, Breath of the Wild Zelda. Okay, that's fair. So I, I remember seeing it and thinking it was going to be very Breath of the Wild uh, Zelda. That's top tier. Sorry. After I attack, special, or cast, I get to fire a Seeking Arrow out. That thing is busted. It's just genuinely super, super strong. Don't need too much more money this run, so we should be able to sit by that. In a gambling addiction a few years ago, so we avoid all gacha games if you can. <clears throat> I am... Um, I've never probably hit... Like, me and my friends will joke about me having a gambling addiction, uh, because I very much like to take chances, right? I like taking random chances and stuff. I think it's really fun. Um, but, like, you know, I'd never say I have a gambling addiction, because, like, while I will happily burn something away like you know like if I, like we used to play around with like pub quiz machines right a lot at my university um and they are not good like i wouldn't ever say i had a gambling addiction but i know that if i'm not thinking straight i am very susceptible to these things um so i'm very careful about it but like it's just like i'm aware of how predatory they are and i think that like this is the problem with a lot of these things is how easily it's disguised how predatory they are where, like, for example, take Overwatch. Like, if we're talking about video game gacha mechanics, like, Overwatch kind of started the conversation in a very, like, public space, right? Um, the argument of, oh, but it's all just cosmetic never really sat well with me, where it's like, you can't just call it cosmetic because the point is I want something. Like, it's not about, you know, what it is. Like, like it's not just about, like, Oh, but is it the best thing? Is it, like, the an item you need in the game? No, but is it something I fucking want? Yes. And, like, you used to be able to all like, get these things in. So, like, it's very easy to create crowds that stand by it. And I'm just, like, I don't ever... I don't know. I, I, I understand where the predatoriness is of it is. I just hate it. I mean, you could have diagnosed with it, but it did end up spending around one third or one second or one half of your paychecks at one point. I'm lucky that I never got bad at it. I would have spent, like, maybe, like, a tenner on a game. And, like... I'll be honest, I'll still potentially drop money on, like, a gacha mechanic. Like, I did a couple times, a lot of, um, smite, the MOBA smite skins are hidden behind, uh, like, random chance. It'll be like, this box has, you get one skin, it's one of this list. <clears throat> and I have done that a couple times, um, mostly because I'm really bad for, if I get it right once, I'm gonna do it again. So the first time I ever did it, I got the skin I wanted out of the box, and I'm like, well, this is gonna happen every fucking time now, and I've, unfortunately, had really good luck with it. And the unfortunate part there is that just encouraged me to do more with it. A lot of people at the time were into Overwatch, to be fair, as they removed the old COD model of paying for DLC because of it. Oops. <coughs> I did that earlier. You just want to be, um, you want to be in the position where you're tempted to. Yeah, and that's definitely like the position I kind of like try to be in as well, where like I could easily get bad if I didn't pay attention. And I'm and I I am fully aware of that, which is why I'm more careful about it. Like a lot, like I, as I say, a lot of my friends used to make the joke where like, oh yeah, Luke has a gambling addiction. Like Luke has a gambling addiction, like in a stupid way where it's like, absolutely, I would take chances on things, and it was a fun joke. But it's just like, it's it's easy to understand. Well, it's difficult sometimes to see where the line is on. Do you actually have a gambling addiction, or are you just vulnerable to these things? And if you are vulnerable to these things, will that lead to a potential gambling addiction down the line? And the answer is probably yes. Like, if I, like, wasn't careful about it, I probably would be genuinely dropping way too much on random stuff that doesn't mean anything in games and taking chances. So I, I try not to do that sort of thing. And I prefer games like this where it's like, this is the entire thing. Genshin is an interesting one because I felt like I got enough uh, currency in that game to afford the boxes without dropping real money on it. So like, I was okay with that. Like, I'll never, I don't mind 
the occasional in-game gacha thing if I'm not spending money on it because while it is stupid, it can be fun to take a chance on something, right? I enjoy that. Um, but so long as I'm not dropping money on it, I'm good. Uh, yeah, but apparently it gets worse late game. I never got late game in the game, which is probably uh, the best thing for me. Lightning Bolt effects have a chance to strike twice. Yeah, let's go for that. Because <coughs> it means you can double strike with your, with your call. Don't worry about that. This is a pretty good run. We still have all our death defies. I didn't change my trinket again because I was paying attention to chat. I'm bad at this game. Uh, having Pierce Butterfly does nothing for me right now. So, because it's, um, so Pierce Butterfly is actually really bad on this floor because each room in this area doesn't count as its own encounter. Rather, the entire corridor does. So, in order to get a plus 2% um, damage buff from the Butterfly, I have to clear the entire corridor and reach the end of that corridor and get the reward from it without taking damage. And given the poison effects in this game are really strong, it's probably not going to happen, ever, on any run ever, so, I don't know, it's, it's just not great on uh, floor 3, so I should have changed to my other death defy there, or the the spearhead, like I keep saying I was going to, but I just downright forgot. That was nice. That was actually pretty quick. I've got a two runs rule. Uh, get an extra cast. I don't care about the casts that much. I actually want to get God Charge goes up more. Like, that's going to be more beneficial to me, I think. Just because I don't really use the casting at all. Uh, so that's fine. And you know a gacha game that gets you currency enough to gamble without money? Like, this is the thing. There are some out there, but the fact they exist is still not fantastic. Whenever you strike fools with lightning boons, fire an electric bolt. Hell yes. <coughs> like, there are definitely ones out there, but they're generally not worth... Like, they cannot be worth the risk, because it's like, you you grind... Let's say you play a game that's reasonably fast, and you're like, right, I really want this thing. And you play for a couple days, and you still don't get it. You're just like, right, I've been playing so much, I still want that thing. I'm just going to drop a fiver on it. Like, even if you get the currency for rerolls, um... Like, even if you still get enough, like, like rolls on it, you may not get what you want, and that's enough to prompt you to drop money on more rerolls. Right, here we go. Focus time. Full health, three death device, and he's reasonably low damage Hades. So he's not got a lot of the buffs that caused me some trouble in the last one. Like, uh, him getting more attacks with the attack speed and damage up is actually insane. I want fish. Fish. Oh, there's phone nearby. Dad. Dad stopped me from fishing. Okay. That's really strong. I've just taken him down his first third of the health bar without taking any damage. So, if I can clear these up, that'll be very helpful to me. Okay. This is probably... Like, this is almost certainly a one run. Uh, there's my first damage. We've got time for one of these. That was a waste. I just... I shouldn't have done that then. I should have waited for him to get past this phase. But at least I can use it to clear up these guys a little bit. But the fact that I've got, like, so much damage flying out of me, it's just, like, really, really strong build. Like, getting the Chain Lightning and the, um... Oh, there's a skull over there, apparently. The arrow flying out is really strong, so I'm okay with that. I'm also proud of myself for not getting hit by that shockwave. So, whenever he starts uh, phase two, he fires out a shockwave. I am very, very cognizant of this fact, and yet I very, very rarely remember to dodge it because I'm stupid like that. Okay, we're just gonna try a DPS check here and just like, even if he does um, fire pillars, I'm just gonna take it and just get as much DPS down as I can. But he hasn't done lightning yet, like his fireballs yet. I name his attacks even though I don't think they actually have names just to make sure I know what I'm playing against. So it's like, right, spinny strike, three strike, things like that. I'll like just try my hardest to remember I've killed him. There you go. One run! I'm glad we got one on stream at least. <clears throat> Whew. Yo win boy. Oh hey, my friend Thomas playing Hades as well. So... We have something really important to do now. 
What was that? 18 minute run? Nice. Oh, probably was my record with fists. So that's nice. Really important thing we have to do before we get anything else. So probably one of the like least good. I don't, wouldn't say it's a bad thing about Hades, but it's one of the least good things about Hades for sure. Is I'm just not looking at the fish. What am I doing? I was trying to do it by vibration in the controller, and I'm really bad for that. Is once you beat the game, you get one of these at the end. We're just gonna like, <laughs> you kind of finished. There you go. Like the game just kind of goes like, yeah, Zagreus just died. Okay. I am going to take a very short break, guys. Um, so I'm just actually going to quickly um, put ourselves on a break screen for like maybe like a minute or two. So I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm literally just going to go visit the bathroom, make sure that I uh, sit here. I'm not used to like having to take pauses while I'm like on stream, but it's just me, so I have to. I am going to just nip off for a second or two. I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh, toodle pips, I guess. Which one's my break screen? That one? Yeah, that one. We don't use the break screen very often, right? Catch you in a second. And I'm back. Oh. I ran fast there. I was just like running around the flat and like, right, get everything, get everything. Also, I saw the hydrate request. There we go. Say, what the fuck does say? Say hydrated, people. <laughs> she handles that request more than I do. Dusa! <coughs> I want to date Dusa. I think I'm gonna maybe start bribing Nyx so that Nyx doesn't like, like lets me hang out with Dusa more. My fake mom is not letting me hang out with my new girlfriend. It's so annoying. <coughs> I 
I just love that she just eats herself into the sky every time you finish talking to her. <coughs> Fake mom spoilers. Whoops. I mean, I have real mom right here, so I'm about to go talk to her. <laughs> I'm sorry about the spoilers. I have said I've beaten the game, so. Oh. Huh. It simply is a struggle to survive. Sooner or later it fails to succeed, and then it ends up here. And we have room enough for everyone. Even the satyrs and the vermin of the <laughs> Satyrs suck. I, they are my least favorite enemy in this game. <laughs> and at least mortals get to rest assured knowing what happens once they die. Must really ease them yeah, no, and anyone in those Greek gods lineage knows it anyway. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> right. Speaking of real mum. Persephone! She looks she looks great in the fucking death outfit that you get <coughs> when you bring her back down. Regardless of his intentions, it sounds as though he made your life extraordinarily difficult. All his pent up fear I actually love the story of this game and the, like the relationship between Zacharias and Hades. I think this <coughs> I just genuinely think the story of this game is so good, and you don't get that in roguelikes. I think that when Hades told you he asked no forgiveness, he understood as well and meant it. Well, for all his failings, I'm thankful that he did not teach you how to hate. For your own sake, if not for his. Like, Hades is such a good character. Like, because he does start off as this big, like, just big fuck you character, and then he, like, slowly, like, softens as the game goes on. I don't know, I just really love him. Oh. You're not to that. No, 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 no. <coughs> I never even think to do that, miss. I mean, you have your station and I have mine. We're from two different worlds, you could say. Fated never to be seen together much. Oh, thank you so much for the follower. Uh, the follower? Follow Cold Saucer. Hi, we really appreciate it. Aw. Oh, this stream's done well for us. I'm quite happy right now. We weren't expecting this one to hit as many big numbers as we did. So we really, really appreciate you dropping by. The real myth Hades is my favourite of the main Greek gods. You know what? That's fair. Like, ugh, Hades is such a great story. I'll just, like, can be, like, fucked by his brothers and families. Be like, no, you live down there now. Um, I kind of want to get this. I just get gemstones for beating bosses. I've been saving up the jet, the, the diamonds for that. <coughs> but that, it's the way it's, it's all my diamonds now. I just really want this. <laughs> Looks fierce without, um, without attacking on sight. It's a giant blood sculpture. I want it. You can use the contractor to just decorate your home and it's so cute. Some of your residents seem to remember the queen from before, yet the Olympians just never found out. They have no jurisdiction here. No knowledge of our goings on. Well, Hermes did perhaps, but in a very limited capacity. As far as anybody knew beyond this realm, our queen was Nyx. Ask him nothing more of this. If Hades didn't want to be shunned, he should have stopped trying to steal Kingdom Hearts. You can get out, sir. All right, all right. I always forget. Wait. Too fair, though. <clears throat> oh. I'm trying to remember how Hades played into Kingdom Hearts. It wasn't a big role by any means. Like, he was more just there. <clears throat> no sign of Thanatos, though, so no, no love story for Thanatos. He's not even in my bedroom. Oh, 150 gems. Nice. I need that. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I do have this. I can pick the next rank that. I thought I had finished this. Uh, it lets me re roll certain uh, doorways and get another chance at what's in them. <coughs> he isn't evil like most of the modern tale tried to take, uh, make it. In fact, one of the more sympathetic ones. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, he is. He doesn't really have a lot of the same. Like, I don't know. He just sort of is there, trying to do his own thing, and like, volunteered to take the shit role of like, looking after the world of the dead. Also, I love the common misconception that he's the god of the dead, but he's really just like, the keeper of the underworld. Like, he's, no, he's god of the dead, not the god of death. 
Like, he doesn't control death, he just controls the dead, looks after the dead. Which I think is a really common misconception that is, like, really an interesting difference. Thanatos is the god of the of death. Um, also, we're going to be playing with the gun, I guess, this run. So this will be the first one we're using, which has its third aspect. Sorry, fourth aspect. Each gun has four aspects, and the fourth one is always um, a non-Greek thing. So everything else is always, like, a... Um, Every single one is like, I meant Roman, but like, did I mean Roman? I can never, no, Greek, I'm right. My brain just had a moment of like, no, you're doubting yourself. Um, as a non, um, like, Greek god thing. Where like, you, like, so for example, this one, the one we're using now is the aspect of Lucifer. I mentioned a couple times the aspect of Guan Yu, which is the spear here. Uh, Guan Yu's good. Uh, this is Excalibur. <laughs> so the aspect of Arthur. And then this is the aspect of Beowulf. So... Uh, we'll be going with the aspect of Lucifer gun. What it does is it turns this gun normally. It'll just show off very quickly. Touching does this and shoots little bullets and this little gun thing. This one instead <coughs> is a laser beam and does a butt ton of damage. But you want it to chain it onto things and it also creates these little explosion things. They do little pulses of damage. But also, if I channel on it, it explodes. <clears throat> have you tried Big Bomb's gun build? I found it super fun. Yes. It's genuinely hilarious. That Arthur and Beowulf aren't gods. No, I know, but like... Like... It's close enough, right? Also, I... I think Guan Yu was a god, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure Guan Yu was a myth or a god, but like... Regardless, we're going Lucifer. Woo! Woo! Because Lucifer, uh, I get bonus stuff for doing Lucifer, and I'm all right at this one. Uh, it's not my favorite run for sure, but I can do it. All right, I'm going to force overtime again, so um, move speed and attack speed up on all enemies. <coughs> Neither is Lucifer, I guess. That's interesting actually, because like I guess like in other like pantheon-based gods, he probably would like sorry in like pantheon-based pantheons, the opposite of monotheistic. Uh, like a, he probably would be like in a Christianity sense, he probably would be a god if they were like believed in multiple gods in terms of Christianity. But yeah, I guess not. Cause, like it's a monotheistic thing. Guan Yu is a real person, but is now worshipped as the god of war. Cool. See, I knew there was something about that. Polytheistic. Thank you. I guess that is the right word. That would make sense. He is in a geotheistic, geotheistic, I assume, or geotheistic Christianity. Complicated words are being dropped that I don't know how to say. Um, he isn't as obviously his fault as his brothers. Uh, he is uh, as all the gods, all the things found in the earth, so gems and unrefined minerals. Yeah. Um, Hades is king of the kingdom of dirt. These words are too big for your tired little brain. I'm sorry, D. Uh, these are all terrible, so we're gonna go special up because it's just the rarest one, and then we just want to just hopefully, like, then we just run around and zap things with lasers. Is lasers, is lasers okay, D? Do you know what that one means? <laughs> lasers. Lasers are good. <coughs> I guess I'll take a key. Keys are probably one of the most useless items for me right now. Sorry about spelling, but it makes sense in your head. All right, I get what you're putting down. I'm just bad at reading. <laughs> um, usually what happens when we stream, when uh, Betty is here, I will occasionally just be like, I'll read something out and just look over it and be like, now it's your turn to explain because I didn't read that properly. And then she'll figure it out. Uh, I'm bad at putting those pieces together, but she can do that. <laughs> She's much better at like, filling in the gaps than I am. I really love this lasers. Also, no, please explain. Or explain. Pew! That's lasers. Less lasers. Lasers are good. Like, also, why are you questioning? Why are you quoting lasers, Alpax? <laughs> Like I did something, but I just took like two hits for no reason. I'm pissed. Like two hits in a floor one room is like not acceptable. I have rage quit runs for less. Why shouldn't he quit razors? It's an Austin Powers reference. I have never seen an Austin Powers movie. And I'll be honest, I don't really have any intention to. I'm sure they're fine. But like, I don't know. They just don't seem like my cup of tea. Also, currently, I don't have a brilliant access to Netflix, so uh, I'm watching YouTube essays right now. I'll bet he's gone. Oh, I'm out of ammo. 
The only problem with this gun is you do have to uh, reload it manually or let it run out of ammo. So you, it's one of the few weapons that you have to like stop attacking with. <coughs> awesome powers are really good. What's your problem with Netflix? Um, the problem with Netflix is Betty is not here, which means that um, I'm more likely to sit at my desk because I have my computer there and my Netflix login is Betty's login and we only have it logged in on the PlayStation because I used to... I have had net access to Netflix for years and I have never once paid for it and I, I don't think I ever will. Uh, Betty's dad pays for Netflix we use currently but I used to get a Netflix from someone else. It's not really important who. Um, you haven't changed your password lol. You did once! You did once. It's not... It's it's not the password that you set up for me. It's a different one. It It's... I don't know how to... I can't really say. You have changed the password at some point. Um, I don't know your password anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah, I used to steal off my Netflix password. Um, Betty tried to get me back online on Netflix last night, but couldn't remember it. You see your brother's Netflix? Everyone... Like, there are two kinds of people in this world. People who pay for Netflix and the people who steal Netflix. I I pay for Crunchyroll. That's the only one I pay for. Uh, inflict, inflict weak on enemies around me. Hey, Zeus. I want Zeus. <coughs> I think Alpac... Alp, you once sent me a message on Steam saying, um, I changed my Netflix password because it was like saying there was like a leak or something. And like, it's now this. I never made a note of what the changed one was because at that point I was dating Betty and I was like, well, I'll just use hers. So like, problem. I don't have Netflix login. I do have a Netflix access. I don't know why this is the conversation of the stream. Um, on our PlayStation, but like, it means I'm not, it means I can't like listen to it and play something, watch something and play something. Cause like it would be, one would be on TV and one would be on my screen. I wouldn't be able to focus on that at all. But wait, this is a mini boss and he's obnoxious. He creates, he just shoots lasers everywhere and lasers are bad. Like, do I need to explain lasers? I don't know. Um, there we go. Or quote unquote Austin Powers, lasers. Um, there we go. Thank you. S used to steal your mate's boyfriend's Netflix and so did my parents. <laughs> That's great. I get laser gun. <laughs> Actually, that's really funny. Struck his father? Eh, I guess with gods, it's not, not, not that unusual. I guess we'll take Chain Lightning again. Because <coughs> this build isn't technically auto attack based, but it is because the laser beam does technically count as an auto. So um, every tick of the laser should theoretically cause bouncy bouncy uh, zap zaps. And that's really strong. Let's see. Oh, that thing did not last long enough for me to test it. Yeah, every tech sends out one sends one out. So that's pretty strong. It just gives me plenty of room clearing, and like the faster I clear rooms, the less likely I'm to take damage. And then the less damage I take, I just took damage, I'm a dumbass. Um the more likely I'm, I like the stronger I get, because I get my uh Pierce Butterfly procs. <clears throat> Uranius uh Eden attack damage of full ramps up faster. It radiates damage in a larger area. Fires three beams in a spread pattern? <laughs> oh, hell yeah! <laughs> like, is that the strongest ability? Probably not, because, like, <clears throat> spreads are good for clearing rooms, but do nothing really for the boss fights. Um, but, like, is this the flashiest one? Does it look hilarious? And does or do they all proc lightning bounces? You're damn right they do. More lightning bounces. I'm gonna re-roll these. I'll probably start by re-rolling darkness. Don't want key. Don't really want ambrosia. Didn't want key in the first place. I'll take ambrosia. <coughs> like, ooh, this will be fun. So whenever you see this like flashy red thing, and you can actually very see a superimposed Hades there, very gently see it. Um, what it means is rather than it being like a cleared room to end to leave, it's um, survive for around 45 seconds usually. So infinite spawning enemies for 45 seconds. It can be quite tricky. It's I'm not always 
I'm not likely to survive without taking damage, usually because it can get quite overwhelming, but pretty good for my chain lightning attacks because uh, three beams means I've got a lot plenty of things to connect to. This is going to be a stupid build. And I will say, like, one of the, I'd say, like, selling points of roguelites is getting OP, right? So if you're playing a roguelike or roguelite game, <coughs> you're often just, like, looking for a combo of shit to get, like, busted, right? That's definitely how I used to play Benny of Isaac, which is, like, the first roguelike I ever played. Um, and the first one I got really into. Uh, what's this? Healer or gems? Don't need gems. We'll do this. <laughs> so, like... You definitely want to get as busted as you can as fast as you can. I do think this one has like some really, really fun effects that just make you absolutely invincible. I love getting all the friends who also shoot at enemies in Benny of Isaac. Oh yeah, yeah, just collecting as many like companions. Um, I think it's Lilith who's like good for that because her starting item means that like all your, like you don't have your own attack, rather you have an enemy, like a friend that follows your companion who attacks for you. And then her uh, active item makes it so that you... Balls. Got hit by Aphrodite there. Um, your active item means that you you double all the friends. You get a copy of each friend that you have. So it's just like companion runs in that game can be really funny if you get busted. Would love a stream of that. I can do an Isaac stream. Betty actually really wants an Isaac stream at some point because um, like, we love it. We've said before, if we ever did like a just talking streamer or something like that, we want to talk about channel stuff, we'd probably put something on the background and we've ran, we've thought of doing it for that, uh, for Isaac. New DLC next year, apparently. Like, we'll probably definitely play new D the new DLC because, uh, like, new content's always fun for Isaac. Oh my god, finally! I don't get saved because he's shot. I'm so salty. Um, Ares is my favourite god in the game. I think he's hot as hell. I generally do. He's uh, <laughs> he's the man on the instant like nerds tag at the bottom. He's the one. He's the black guy with the white band across the eyes. I just think he's so hot. <laughs> Here we are. Hey Meg. Oh yeah, sped up Meg is actually quite difficult. Right, <laughs> you know the rules. It's quiet time while I focus on killing a, a, a fury. Like, the problem with Bouncy Lightning is that... Fucking hell, that's so much faster on the speed up mode. Okay, I need to remember if she starts doing that to take cover. I'm going to do that. Just uh, use my call to protect myself there. Where is she? There. So because I've got the one that increases attack speed on everything, those projectiles go much faster. <coughs> Usually they are, like, pretty slow and easy to dodge, but that's uh, actual insanity. I'm probably going to take a Death Defy to Meg, which is a little bad. Like, I really shouldn't, is how I'd put it. Just reload, run around for a second. I'm just going to take the time to dodge rather than risk taking damage to anything here. Okay, not going to take a Death Defy. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. Like, that was messier than I would have liked. But definitely not the worst. So Titan's Blood is good because it lets you upgrade the weapons and unlock the new forms for stuff. So uh, that's why you want to upgrade the run and like add heat because you get you can only get one per heat level per weapon, if that makes sense. So if I do the fists at heat zero and beat Meg, I'll get Titan's Blood. But then again, I wouldn't get another Titan's Blood until I raise the heat to one, and so on and so forth, infinitely stacking. <coughs> okay. Just looking for any, if there are any uh, pots. Nah, nothing. These gates I can't actually use yet. So they are, in essence, you get bonus items um, but you have to have high enough heat for them to get more stuff, but heat up. I actually don't know what happens when you enter them. Because <coughs> I've never entered one because I've never run a heat high enough. I think the lowest heat that you can do for is seven. Also, I've just said the word heat a lot in one sentence. Like, in a series of sentences. That's fine there. This is a decent run for sure. I'm okay with the items here. Hermes. 
what you got for me? Uh, chance to dodge automatically, more dashes, and heal after dash. There's no point taking heal after dash if you're offered... Um, if you're offered... <coughs> what's it called? Dodge chance? Because, like, I can either, after taking a hit, potentially heal if I'm fast enough on reaction, or... I can guarantee a chance of no damage at all from taking a hit. I'd rather take the chance of no damage than the I have to focus on like reducing what I take, what I already took. <coughs> like, I'd rather take a chance at zero than do something to get like less. Okay. So one of the things I do like about this floor is so the lava obviously hurts, right? Anything that looks like lava is lava. It hurts like a bugger. Uh, ticks at you really slowly, like, and then ramps up. So, like, the only reference I have for it is Old World Warcraft Lava, where if you stood in it for a long time, it did more, but if you stood in it first, it did nothing. Um, <coughs> but it does affect non-flying enemies. So, uh, I'm in a really bad spot here, because I don't like these things. Here we go. Once again, this is a floor, this is a room that's not as difficult without the attack speed up, but because the attack speed is higher with the heat that I'm on, um, it can be a bit of a nightmare. Projectiles are the worst thing for heat up. Like, heat up's usually all right. Um, not, the, not the worst thing in the world for some, but... I need hack speed one for most of the melee enemies because I play with a lot of ranged weapons. Don't bother me because usually not get. I like usually I'm tempting to not let them get in range of me. But for most of the projectile based enemies, the fact that they, they, the the attacks they do just fly at you makes them a lot hard to dodge. Don't you get to choose the buffs though? Yes, I do. Um, because I'm at a point in the runs now where I kind of need to be at a certain heat level, I take this as the best option for me. I need to maybe look, re look at what heat ones I'm putting on because I do struggle with it. Like, in essence, <coughs> I have it set up so I get one more damage. Uh, I take more damage. They, everything does more damage. And the other one is that they all speed up. Now, I can choose what I take, but the options are not great. Uh, hey, Betty. How's he doing? Don't let them answer that. But I think I'm doing okay. They're probably going to tell you I'm doing crap. He's alright. Only had the game muted for one run. Yeah, I had the Elgato muted for uh, one of our for the first run, so no game sound for that. I'm a dumbass. Um, apart from that, I think it was alright. He's doing eh. Eh's alright for me. I'll, I'll take eh. Like, I expect meaner things than that. Ah, oh, there's Death 5. Death defying early floors can be fine so long as one, I find like if I find Patroclus or if the game offers me a viable uh, extra life. <coughs> Ooh, your revenge effect sometimes takes uh, occur without taking damage or more bounces. Both of these are really strong, but I'm gonna take that one because what that means is every now and again I have a random chance of just becoming invulnerable and atta bouncing attacks back at enemies. He's doing great. Thanks, Fledge. And also, what's that? Oh, bless. No bullying. He's on his own. He's worried about the progress. The scythe boy without you. Oh, yeah. I was worried uh, I could, I've i unlocked the romance options. <laughs> so I can potentially... Um, I can potentially smooch your boy now. Your blade rift lasts longer. That's not great, but that is great. So Doom is one of my favorite effects in the game. Uh, you do love that. And I'm going to love that, if you know what I mean. So Doom, what it does is it puts a little icon above their heads and eventually that icon will go spang and smack them. When it smacks them, they do more damage. So in essence, like do it puts like an extra little bit of damage on them after, after a short period of time. That was bad. Just forgot to dodge. Come on, Lurney. So pink Lurney means shockwaves. Shockwaves is probably my least favorite type of Lurney. Um, what it means, like, so these things. That's what I would just call those shockwaves because they look like little like, waves. And they hurt, so they shock. It's like I'd say the first learning we saw, which was Egg Learning, is my favorite learning because he's the easiest to deal with. I'd say. Oh my God, Romance Thanatos, yes. 
I'm going to romance them all, because you can do that in this game with no negative consequences. Because those crazy Greeks, they do whatever they wanted. There's my hot boy Ares. And he turns me into a Beyblade for a while. Doesn't last as long as I'd liked, but... Oh my god, I might take another Death Defy here, depending on how the heads behave. And... Hey, Lurney. Lurney! Is this your second run? Third! Uh... We did a run with the bow, which we got to Hades and lost. We did a ro we did a run with fists, which we won. That was reasonably low heat, so I expected to win that. And then we're on the third run now. So sec halfway through, uh, second run. Sorry, third run. I'm I can count. I can only count to three. Damn right they are. Now I'm gonna do the thing we said we were gonna try last time. So the advice we got given by chat earlier. And I'm going to heal up as much as I can, and we really need to find Patroclus on this floor. <clears throat> There's no way to guarantee that we're going to get him, but it would be good. Important lore question, Betty. Have you seen Austin Powers? <laughs> I will field that to Betty Wilds. What? It's very important, because of lasers. No, I haven't. I think chat needs us to watch Austin Powers at some point. Why is TSP saying what? You were here for that conversation. Laser beams are good. These things are taking a little less damage than I'd like. My output's not the greatest. Both of you educate uh, educate yourselves. When you get back, Betty, apparently we're watching Austin Powers together. I think my flat had it on uni once and you ignored it. <laughs> and played Smite. Nah, you're alright, let's. I don't think we have a choice. Uh, ramps up faster, which is definitely what we want here. Marty McSavage, hi there! Is, it, is this the last one of the gun that lets you shoot lasers? You're damn right it is! And I've got triple lasers on. <clears throat> this is... Gun is not my favourite item unless you get really good bomb upgrades to it. Um, gun with lasers though? Top tier. Top tier gun with lasers. Gun with lasers is very satisfying. Currently we're running gun with lasers and we have... Um, uh, chain Lightning from Zeus, which is turning out to be a pretty fun combo given the amount of bullshit that I'm firing out at any one time. But apart from that, I could do with a little more damage, I'd have to say. We've already switched to a survivability item though, um, so that's interesting. Mario McSavage is, is an excellent name, my dude. Okay. Zap. Dodge. <coughs> So like in general, the run this run is like this run's all right. I just worry about the damage output that we're putting out for Hades, because I'm worried that currently, while it has got potential, it's not there yet. <clears throat> uh, I, why am I shooting? I don't have anything until I do this. Both of these are bad ones to fight against, but I just want to see Ares. Hello, oh, he's so pretty. Thanks, we started the post game in this, and we have the final form of Spear so far. Just working on Heat 2 stuff, so you have a ways to go. To be fair, I'm only like Heat 4, 5 for most weapons. Um, final form of Spear is top tier. Like, <clears throat> it's one of the best uh, upgrades in the game by far. So the buff we just took there means that just in essence all of our damage is more. So it's like, it's it's free real estate, right? You, you just take it because now I just do more damage. Why would I not want that? Okay. This is a bad room for me. I struggle against these particular kinds of enemies and especially with a lot of the ranged weapons. If you have, um, they're very vulnerable to like dash attacks if you're running a physical weapon, but well, melee is the word I'm looking for there, but with a lot of the guns, I want this. I don't want to, I, you don't have a lot of time to get behind them and damage. The gun, this gun's all right with it because of the, this thing, the, the little brimstone thing you can shoot at because it pulses out damage constantly. So it is not the worst. <coughs> Where's Betty in the world? Hi. Where's Betty, by the way? Um, you're in England to look after your dad. 
There she is. Yeah, she's uh, gone down south for, um, for people who are new here. We are a couple streamer. Uh, usually Betty Wilde is, our, is the other co-host here. Um, however, she's currently looking after her dad, so she's gone home for a uh, week or two. So it's just me up until the 16th, and then everything will be back to normal, your normal scheduling. Oh, Asterius! Hello! I actually don't particularly want to fight you right now. Guns in my ancient Greek tragedy? More common than you think. Well, this isn't just a gun. This is a laser beam. And it's, um... Because it's, it's Lucifer. <laughs> you know, Greek god Lucifer. Also, wait. This isn't a tragedy. This is a... There's tragedies in it. But it's not a tragedy. Uh, I'm going to go impervious here just because it will give me a chance to potentially KO before I die. But no, I'm going to come out of this before he is dead. You don't need to empty the health bar here. It's like... I think like 60% or 70% maybe. You just need to do enough to him that he dings the bell and leaves. In essence, he just wants to prove his might that he can beat you without... Theseus, there you go. <laughs> it's not a tragedy, he said, before he died. I didn't die yet! I haven't died. I've only lost once. That means I've only done two runs, and I've got 12 health on this death defy, so there's a chance. After you take damage, full strike by lightning. After you dash. Uh, we want to take the after we get damaged one. Not because we want to get damaged, but because we've already taken the buff that gives us the chance to get just randomly trigger those effects, the revenge hits, and now we've got three different effects that can just randomly trigger, which is just great. So we can do a doom effect on people, which means that they um, just take more, they just get like a little bit of damage on them after a second or two. We now have a chance to randomly shoot a lightning bolt at them, and we also have a chance to go invulnerable for like a second. So all in all, that's good shit. second. You know what's a bummer? There's no secret ending to this game for beating without dying. Honestly, I don't think that's so much of a bummer because the game is designed to let you die, which I like because roguelites usually you're sort of sitting like roguelites usually you're trying to be very protective of all of your health bar and like being a little panicky all the way through. While this game is like, hey if you take a couple of hits early on, <coughs> don't worry you get three tenths. Uh, three to four tenths. And I like that. Uh, after using death fight, still more damage for the encounter is good because we're not doing well. Like, as I say, I want to find... I want to hopefully find Patroclus and gain my Death Defies back um, because that would be very, very good. And if I can do that, then, like, all... And, like, if I get... Then, ugh, if I find that, then um, we should be in a pretty safe spot. I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of this Broken Spear Point. I don't think it's doing as much as I was hoping for. Like, it's... So it's, um, the effect of it is after I take damage, I become vulnerable for like a second, right? Um, but I'm just not really seeing the effect very often because I'm often not taking multi-hits. I'm mostly just taking one point of damage and going down. Like, but yeah, I get that the concept of like a set secret ending is usually like pretty good for like, you know, for, for a challenge like that where it's like you want to... Um, beat it in a way that's like very difficult. That's Patroclus. <coughs> so we're going to do this. Uh, that's why it's part of the game's story. Takes the character you dying and expects you to at some point, but doesn't shift it in any way if you defy the odds. I know, but like this game is actually very, like while it's very difficult, I would say it's quite accessible. Um, I think this is the last enemy. So we're going to do something silly here. Or not, because we got uh, one of our revenge effects. I wanted to do something stupid, let him respawn and kill me, because I would have got plus 3%. Um, oh no, it's just for the encounter, it's not for the entire run, I'm stupid. <clears throat> Which just means you miss out on the character interactions. I think a line of dialogue would be very good, but I don't want it to be like a secret ending. Um, because, as I say, the character interactions are what this game's all about, and this whole idea of you coming back and constantly developing it. I don't know, It doesn't. it's not affected by you dying in any way, because like, if you die, you just come back, and that's the whole point of this whole cycle. I, I don't know. I, it's an interesting one for sure. And I, like an actual line of dialogue or two would be great, but I don't want to like. I don't want it to have like that. I don't think I do. I just like it like the, the way it is. I think this game is genuinely perfect.
Okay, so sticks, please. <coughs> there we go. So that is going to give us a little more, like, it's not too much survivability. I could genuinely do with, like, a little more healing. But that is, as I say, I've said before, it's quite unlikely in this game to get, like, good healing. I want to visit stores if I can get a couple uh, and hope they have food there. Which is <coughs> one of the few genuine ways of healing, but as a not likely. The other thing we can hope for is finding a Dionysus buff, but in general, normally the game, um, after a certain point, stops giving you new gods to un Oh my god, that was such a terrifying room if it wasn't for the build I was on. Um, I'm actually going to blade here just because it gives me impervious for like a second. I just want to just scum what I can there. <coughs> okay. Free win. Let's see. Oh, Dead Dam, welcome back! Hey! Hi, back. I'm Dead Dam. Um, <coughs> where's. Uh, I guess I can go with some resistance because I'm struggling with the run right now. Shop is what I want here because this is the last decision. First floor. Nice dad jokes. Shake's head. Alpacs can't do jokes apart from dad jokes. It's physically impossible. It actually hurts him to do that. Your reflect does more damage than weak. I don't want that. I don't want that. I guess I have that even though I'm not really using the special. Okay. So we're going to take a death defy here for sure. <coughs> which is unfortunate. But it's not too harmful because we've now got all three back. And I guess I'll, sw I'll probably end up switching back to... Thing. Right. Minotaur's already got hurt, uh, hurt on him because we fought him previously, which is good. I can probably wind up scumming a couple bits of this with some of the abilities we've got here. But this fight is very difficult. That was bad. Right, Asterius has gone to phase 2 of him. Like, Asterius phase 2 is fine, because in general he doesn't get too much more. A lot of his attacks wind up having a ranged element to them, but if you dash through him, which is pretty much the safest way to dash through, like to dash on him anyway, uh, it doesn't cause too much more problem. Like, in essence, like, so long as you do what I would consider to be the optimal thing for him, uh, you're not going to get that much difference. Right. I did that way too late. Okay. Lady Artemis. Artemis is a scary one because, like, in essence, her attacks come out a little faster than some of the other um, buffs you can do, but they come in pattern like that. So, like, <coughs> they're reasonably easy to dodge as long as you know which pattern's which. And there we go. Death. Whew. One second. Uh, Dead Dam, are you not to tournament later? Oh, I'd like to know the answer to that. And then. Uh, you prefer the Chamber Health plus 3 uh, Mirror Effect over the Darkness Healing? I've tried both and good results with the Darkness one. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, I've not really tried the Darkness one yet. Um, but in general, I go with this one because... I don't know. I'm just, I don't particularly go for Darkness very often. Bye, Betty. Love you. See you later, sweetheart. Not sure. Pretty sure you signed up. Have a look. You might need to double check that. <coughs> Right. We did take a Death Defy there. We're on two Death Defies, 100 health. I think I am going to switch over to Lucky Tooth just for some survivability. We'll check here for healing. Uh, that was fine. <coughs> Bye. We'll be there for all of it, though. Fair. That happens. Right. We're getting pretty close through. Love you too, Betty. See you soon. I'm a little bit like now on tense mode because like this is like the previous uh like the first one we did today it's theoretically winnable like I, I have all the pieces in place to have a win here but I'm also just clumsy with the things we got so gun is not my favorite weapon in the game uh I can be a little bit stupid with it and like I might do things like that and just take a shit ton of damage to one room with a couple of fucking rats in it Oh, right. That was pretty clean. <coughs> but, yeah. So, taking Tooth just for that, like, one extra death defy. And also, because um, we have the buff on, the uh, Ares buff. 
that says if we die on an encounter and use a death defy we get plus 30 percent damage for the rest of that run which totals up to like if we keep all three of these death defies for hades totals up to us at the end of the fight with him having plus 90 percent damage okay that's a no seedings already done <coughs> unlucky bud me and betty keep saying we need to get in one of uh, octo's smash tournaments so three people who are new here we're talking about um streaming friend of ours bisexual octopus who does a lot of smash content uh and is just generally all around fantastic dude um and yeah i keep meaning to do it but it's just like we never know when we're free we are really bad for having to like for booking things in advance because we're just constantly like when are we gonna be able to do that so i don't know we, we keep saying one of these days we should but also we're aware that we will lose terribly oh great call let's go for it <coughs> beyblades do, do, do. just gonna shred up these turrets because they're the enemy are going to give me the most grief here that and the satyr but the satyr was always going to give me grief but it's easier to deal with the satyr when i'm not dodging lasers okay clear could help you practice by beating you beforehand have you beaten me yet buddy the answer is no Chain Lightning bounce more, uh, and then God Gauge fills faster. We want the God Gauge to fill faster because it's uh, temporary invincibility. I'm not saying say tier right. I'm saying it the way I say I'm saying say tier. <coughs> Talking Fledge, not you. Oh, okay. I just assumed you meant me. I always assume that. Dash, get Lightning, more bouncing. I'm just going to take Dash for um, just more damage output. Give me the phonetic spelling of uh, a pronunciation of satyr then, and I will do my best to change it. Is it satyr? <laughs> I've fought you for five weeks. What do you mean? You fought us last week. Well, don't forget, uh, we are playing. Uh, are we? Put, I put my. Ugh, that's a weird thing to say. I put my schedule out this week instead of we put our schedule out. You. To be honest, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, I'm doing stuff right until it already starts. So I'm going cold. If I'm betting, not you. Uh, I fought you last week as well. No, the, I don't know. I can't remember last time I fought you, actually. I don't think I did. But yeah, so um, we are doing Smash tomorrow. Oh, no, not we. Me. I. Um, <coughs> for, yeah. So weird not saying we for the stream stuff, but rather I. I put the schedule out for what we're doing this week. I'll run through it now while I'm just clearing off um, out this floor. Um, I'm intending four streams. I might do a bonus stream, depending on how things go. Because, like, honestly, I'll most likely be saying Sata or S Cider. Huh. Interesting. So, like, neither of those, like, those are very different pronunciations. So, like, because that's Sata or Cider. Cider. Say tire. Say tire. I'll say tire. <laughs> did I get the sack there? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I did. <coughs> the second one is Sater. Sater is what I've been saying, though. Right? Say... I, 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 I say Sater. I am so confused. Pronunciation scares me. Like, if I wind up playing anything with Alpax, uh, it's like, he'll be just like, Sater. He'll just be saying, right, no, you've been adding an extra syllable. Satyr? I've been saying Satyr, haven't I? Nice Satyr. It's not an extra syllable, but it's an extra like, vowel sound, I guess. So, Satyr. Satyr. Fair. <coughs> it's like the second I say it, because I, 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 I've said Satyr before as well. But, what was I? I probably shouldn't have, like, gone to, like, that, that conversation as starting Hades fight. <laughs> like, I should have probably waited until my brain was off the Satyr conversation. I'm going to continue saying it how I say it for now, so I'm not, like, actively thinking about how to say a word while beating a boss. Right. Beyblade him for a second, just because it gives us some vulnerability from these fuckers. That gives us a good dodge chance there. Right, this is a really bad enemy to get for him because they're ranged, uh, which means they can just pretty much just chill around the side and I don't ever know where to where they are. Okay, we're going to take a death fight soon, but as we say, we've got a buff on that makes death fights not the worst things in the world <coughs> because they now give us a damage up. Okay. <sighs> that was bad. 
didn't quite have the angle to dodge there because I collided with the um, the little pedestal plinth thing there. Right, I'm gonna blast through this because, in essence, because I got the chariot type enemy there, the chariot always just charges straight into you, so you can use that to your advantage when you're fighting Hades. Because I, if you have that particular buff, like I can just turn myself invulnerable and I can hit both of them. Oh, shockwave! That's the first time I didn't dodge the shockwave. He's just slightly arranged, so let's just shout one of them and hide. <coughs> I'm going to read all these comments about how to pronounce that word in a minute. I do promise, because I'm actually interested in it. Uh, but this takes precedent for a second. Let's break that while I've got a chance. This is one of the other things I need to maybe do more of when I'm fighting the, the last form of Hades, is to break the vases myself. Like... Oh, fuck this. Right, if I blast through this, I should be able to just hide. I'm just gonna invulnerable through the shockwave attack. Like, when I know it's safe, I should just break the, the vases. Fuck that. That was a really bad attack pattern for me to dodge. Right. But we should have high damage. We've only got 100 more health. He's really like the vases this run. That's a safe-ish spot. Safe-ish was all I was getting. Uh, this should be a win. Oh, thank God. Because <sighs> I tried to damage... Th I tried to just invulnerable through it with two charges of Ares uh, thing. I wasn't sure if two would be enough. So I was just sitting there spamming this. Because that lava attack does a shit ton of damage. Because it, um, it stacks up like my laser does. <clears throat> right, second one is Satyr. And Ivania still believes saying Satyr... Uh, Sata is apparently British, but I've never heard anyone pronouncing it that way. Me neither. Satyr is like the way that, like Satyr, Satyr and Sa and Satyr are the way that I've heard it. Oh god, that's like, I hate conversations with pronunciation, because I'm like, I actively am then trying to say something else, but my brain is just so set up on one thing. Halpax and I were talking about <clears throat> Persona 5 last night, and like Persona 5 Royale. But the game's called Persona 5 Royal. But I have always called it Persona 5 Royale, and I'm just like so stuck on that, and I can't get it out of my head. Oh. So, I'm gonna do. I'll do one more run today, uh, then we'll probably call it there. I'm gonna just quickly go through the schedule for the week. Um, so. As I started saying, I'm doing four streams for guaranteed, potentially a fifth uh, bonus stream if I find the time and feel like it, and find a game too. <clears throat> so, tomorrow, 2.30pm, I'm going to be playing Smash Bros. So, usual fare, Smash Bros. Monday. I'm excited to do some more um, and get some stuff in. I'm excited to get all the games. Um, bit selfish, but I'm excited. Um, like, no splitting up between me and Bay, just me. I'm playing the Smash Bros. Um, then on Tuesday, Alpax and I, uh, sorry, Tuesday 7pm uh, British time, uh, Alpax and I are going to be playing ODST. We're probably going to do two streams of that, uh, one this Tuesday, one next Tuesday. Halo 3 ODST because it's a bit nostalgic for us and I'm excited to try um, just blast through that. <coughs> then on f Friday? Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, Friday. Friday is going to be, I'd probably say the weirdest one for me. I'm going to be playing Tekken 7. I'm probably just going to go into some random games online because it's not a game that I can really do with anybody I know. But it's going to be weird because I am not good at that game. I'm just going to be going and getting my ass handed to me on some online matches and just trying my hardest to like learn the game. I'm still very much in a learning phase with Tekken. So I'm uh, interested to see what I'm going to be doing there. Then last but not least, on Saturday, because um, we can't do Fire Emblem this week because Betty's not here and we've got such a good point in the plot, and we don't want to like have either of us miss that. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and do some open raids. So same fare there. We've all seen that. I'm really excited to do some more of that. <coughs> oh, my fake my my fake dad is like with real mum like hey you did a good job raising him. Since then. Well, I doubt that. 
He's so humble. I like he I like Achilles a lot. I thought you would have done more joint streams since no Betty. Yes and no. Like, I thought about it, but it's just, like, finding the people, make sure we get the time out. And also finding the games to play with people. Like, I wanted to do things that wouldn't run into Betty time. So, like, when Betty gets back, we want to be doing me and her streaming again. Like, normal fare. And if I pick up something with someone and we don't finish it, then I don't want to, like, be having that carry on and not knowing how to finish it, how to figure out how to get Betty included. It makes more sense for me just to do a couple things that are one-offs uh, so that Be when Betty is backwards, back to normal. <clears throat> right. Have I got... How many do I have? 388? Oh, I've got loads of these things. I can get the statue. I can get my statue! Oh! Where is it? Where is it? Sculptor Bloodless. <laughs> I just want this thing. <laughs> here he is, here he is. Yeah! <laughs> I just love him so much. I saw him watching someone else stream and I was like, I need him. Um I can get some more let's get a, let's get a new um like new bedspread for me. I love the amount of dumb customization like room decor shit you can do in this game for no like for no real reason other than it's fun. Um Serpentine tables in the yeah serpentine tables. <coughs> Snake tables. There were no complaints in record of the prior tables. Thanks, Dad. I just wanted snake tables. Right. What have we got in here? Ooh, actually, I do really want to talk to Nick because Nick might be the conversation about uh, Dusa. Can I either date the house servant or your son? Please. Please don't take this the wrong way, Nix, but I was worried you were being rather harsh to do so. You asked him not to speak to me at all. Yeah. That's my that's the one I want to be dating. Or both. Thank you. You do not fully know your place, my friend. <coughs> the Gorgon Head most certainly does not know hers. Please focus on your task at hand and leave her be. Hey, <laughs> Mom. So if people haven't played the game, uh, Nyx is your fake mother. In essence, like, you were raised by Nyx and Hades, believing they were your parents, and then the game prompts into action when you find out that, um... Wait, what was this? I can nudge the statue? <clears throat> Does it really do anything? Or is it just for fun? I can nudge it. That's great. Spoilers. I've said before spoilers! This is not a spoiler-free stream! <laughs> But next is your fake mother if she raised you. <clears throat> like, she is the way she said. Like, she's your fake mother because she claimed to be your birth mother. So, in that essence, she's fake. Like, at no point do I think, like, you know, let's, um, let's say an adoptive mother is, like, a fake mother. Like, an adoptive mother is valid a mother. Like, any adoptive parents are, like, of course valid in that regard. But, like, her claim to be your birth mother is incorrect. So, I'd say that's fake. Right. I'm going to go Blitz Disc for this run because Blitz Disc is so strong. Uh, and Shield is the buff. So we're going Shield. Um, this is probably my least favourite weapon, but this is a really good thing. That's a good answer. Thank you, Dad Dan. Skelly's great. Oh. Right. So, shield. We have shield dash. While I'm holding this, uh, I can't be hit. Assault, like, by something in front of me. So, we got shield dash. You got regular bank. Bonkin. And then, normally on shield, you have, like, a Captain America style throw, come back. But with this particular version of shield, does this. And then I can call back. Creates a Beyblade. 
Now, uh, that's on special, so this is another one of these runs where we really, really want to buff up this special. Right, so we are going to go with... Where's... I've completely lost Pierce Butterfly. Normal run rules. Pierce Butterfly, Butterfly start. Uh, it looks like it's another four heat run. I'll quickly have a look at the options, because <clears throat> as Alpac says, I whine about the the attack speed thing. So, um, here we go. All foes deal bonus damage. Uh, any heart healing effects heal less. Money costs higher. Um, foes in standard counter appear in greater numbers, plus 20% per rank. That's I usually go that one on two heat or stuff like that, but um, <clears throat> each underworld region bosses gain new techniques. How many do I need for this one? Three? I'll do jury summons and extreme measures. Extreme measures is interesting because it causes some really fun boss fights. Higher life totals is not bad either. Um, but I'd rather kill more enemies than spend longer killing enemies, which is a silly thing. Right. Uh, benefits package. More armored folks may have perks. Um, I hate armored enemies. So I don't want to buff them at any point soon. Mini boss encounters cane one armored foe. No, thank you. Uh, you have to lose a buff to unlock a thing. That's terrible. All foes have both movement speed and attack speed. Isn't the worst. Traps and magma dealing more damage is fine because I don't want to take them to step in anyway. Your talents received in mirrors fates are deactivated. So it randomizes... Oh, no, from the bottom up, three of my things are lost. Uh, I have base buffs I don't really look at. All foes have blue hearts, making them ignore initial instances of damage as one hit per rank. Blech. You have fewer uh, choices when offered boons, and then last but not least, you have nine minutes to clear each underworld section. So you can do it up there where it's like, you have five minutes to clear each area, which, no thank you. <coughs> just want to see what I went up to. Right, let's go. So, I can't remember what you just picked. Wow, I have a short memory. Okay. This game has been desperate for me to like Aphrodite today, and I just don't. Leave me alone. Uh, attack causes weak. Sure, that's fine. That's harmless. <coughs> In general, this game is going to be uh, frisbee them and then run the fuck away. Uh, I can probably get an ambrosia by rolling here. Nice. I used all my um, my nectar when I was just like running around the house there, so I want to get some more quickly. Okay, bonk, bonk. Done. Just as so long as you can clear the first couple of rooms without too much issue, <clears throat> you're usually pretty set for later on with this run because, like, the butterfly stacking up is so strong. Now, what we really want is a good uh, on-hit effect with uh, for this effect because, in essence, each individual tick of damage that that does counts as its own attack. So, for example, if it said, oh, this crits, we can do that. Worshipper waves. Let me try this. Was that good enough? Is that good? Oh, I think that's good. Yeah. That's good. Hey, yo, Dionysus, have a drink. <coughs> oh, apparently I haven't given Dionysus one yet. Whoops. This is weird because Dionysus is one of my favorites. What are you giving me, bud? Uh, attack inflicts hangover is good, but I don't really want that. Conflicts hangover. That's not my favorite hangover effect. The damage. So hangover is poison. Um, I'm actually going to take the replacement. So what happens is, <coughs> it replaces my weak weakness attack, but um, gives it a plus one. So plus one um, like effect nested. So it gives it like an inbuilt palm power. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I don't particularly like the weakness, and the other two buffs just aren't very good. One of them heals me if I'm below a certain threshold. Um, like, in essence, like, you have, like, a base threshold that you'll come back to. So, like, let's say it's, like, 10%. If I get below 10% and then enter the next room, I'll start that room at 10%. Um, which is good. And the call... Like, the, his call doesn't do enough damage to make it worth it in my eyes. I either want one of the high damage calls, like Zeus, or I want one of the ones that make me invincible for a second or two, like uh, Ares. Because both of those have much more use to me. I'd rather, <clears throat> in essence, have a, like, a long dodge frame with like an Ares thing. Or just blast it with Zeus. So, there you go. Not taking those buffs. They are not the strongest ones in the world. Uh, 
but you always have to take something. Um, in general, it's not going to hurt you, but you do have to pick something up to proceed. It's giving me a shop early. I'll take the shot because it could have a decent buff in it and I'm lacking for something good right now. <clears throat> what are those hands? Uh, they're floating hand enemies. They throw a chain at you and if the chain hits, you get stunned for a second. All right, so all my damage now is a chance to be critical. I don't care about that story, so I'm just gonna leave. Ooh, is that the... Oh, I thought it was a stealable for a second. So you can fight um, Karen there. Um, occasionally he'll have a bag of gold behind him and you can steal it. You get a bunch of gold and uh, a... If you beat him, you get a store card, which lets, like makes all the costs for the rest of your run cheaper. But he is incredibly difficult. I have beaten him once and lost to him multiple times. Uh, I generally don't try to fight him because he's so tricky, but... He's a fun, he's a fun bonus boss fight. And it's always like... There is just a thing, like, I think... Binding of Isaac is the only game where uh, it encourages you to attack the shopkeeper in a, in a, in a MOBA. Not a MOBA, a roguelike. Good enough to eat. In general, the rule, the general thumb in a, a, a roguelike is, is the shopkeeper there? Is he targetable? Don't touch him. Don't do it. I'm going to alter that. I'm actually going to alter that as well. <coughs> that is a top tier pick. Like... Ares is just so good because all of his shit is like about doing more damage and he also has decent survivability options like I'm not good I never say no to an Ares pick like what I'd like is he has the ability to make it so that this thing does doom effect on people and that's what I would like because if I'm doing a if I've got Dionysus and um, Ares on a run I'm a very good like damage over time based build Sexy boy. He is also... One second, one second. Ooh! Ooh! <coughs> Very good. There is special inflicts doom. That's what I want. <coughs> now, it's not entirely what I want, but now, as I said on the last run, the game will try to, like, offer you the same gods up, but now I've got... Uh, uh, Ares on the run I'm more likely to get a different Ares buff later on and what I'd like is in essence a combo of this and your um, one that says your doom attacks can stack multiple times and deal more damage the more times you stack it onto one enemy so that is the goal I can quickly just show off what doom does so it puts this little teardrop above their heads and it drops down and does damage so bam there's the damage it's really really good So key is bad, but it does give me one good thing. What key does is key, um, I've picked up one of the bonuses that you can buy from the contractor that says that a key gives me an extra door reroll. And seeing as I spent them all trying to get Ares, uh, it's worth me just spending them back. Let's see, that was a clean room. Oh, it's not over, apparently. Oop, spin. Oh, that's right. I took the one that gives me more enemies. It just makes the game last longer. Given this is my last run, then I have got to go cook dinner for myself. Uh, that was a bad decision from me. <coughs> Bull rush gains this. Bull rush gains that. Dash attack gains that. I don't care about any of this. Uh, Bull rush charges up faster. Dashing is all right. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I'd rather have got one of the ones that affects my special. But bad for you. Good for viewers. I guess more of me is good for viewers. Some would dispute that. Some would dispute that I'm holding them by uh, here uh, at gunpoint and then like... But yeah, I guess. Bam. But yeah. This has been good. Like, we, me and Betty have been saying like, you know, Hades is one of these games we felt like we missed out on, but like, it's just so replayable. Like, for streaming, we I should say. Um, like, we did a stream of it right before it came out of Early Access. We kind of like just preempted the boat, but like I don't think anyone expected this game to be as like big a hit as it was. I, I'm not saying it's like oh it shouldn't deserve it. Like it's genuinely just phenomenal. Like it's, it, I'd say like it's definitely up there for my game of the year this year, right? It's got plenty of like nominations at like game awards and such, and I think it's probably going to come home with some things. It's not going to get game of the year. Like no hands. When, uh, was playing Rocket League. What the fuck do you mean a shopkeeper and Isaac? Um, the dangling corpses are called shopkeepers. 
<coughs> I believe. So, and like, while you can't kill them because they're already dead, you can explode them. Kind of what I meant by that. And they will potentially, potentially drop you good stuff. So, uh, special flicks doom. Just keep getting doom ups and keep getting crits ups. Like, that's the play here. Is just spam through those. <coughs> chat's very silent today the chat's been lively um chat is usually quiet on certain days like depends what we're doing uh after dealing death fight and steal more damage that encounter that's what we want there it's strong like yeah not the chattiest chat in the world but like who cares like how about that like they're just dead lol i mean yeah they are but like you can still explode them of course you get aries in the random <coughs> well that's the thing Rolling for Ares means I'm more likely to get Ares later. Oh fuck. Okay, so this is a double. This is a, a double fury fight. They're not easy by any means. But what happens is you only actually have to fight one of them, but the other one does one of their abilities or attacks like every now and again. So occasionally, there she is. You'll just see Meg drop in and do all sorts of bullshit. Right. So this is Electo, the third fury. We've actually seen all three on stream. Um. Her whole shtick is rage. In essence, she has, like, a final phase where she goes fucking ballistic and is a pain in the ass. And it happens when she hits full rage. Now, I don't kind of get Electo in a way because I feel like they should have just made it a third phase rather than this rage bar. But, because I don't feel like the rage bar does all that much. But she, she's fine. She's easy. You've only fought Meg so far. I believe you have to finish. It's. I think it's like, like on like your tenth run or such. It like has a chance to spawn in Electo. Electo's the second one you'll meet, and then the Etisiphius is the third. But yeah, you you do unlock them after a certain point. But you have to do a number of runs to get them. <coughs> Oof. Right. So floor to uh i think what we really need now is health like we're doing high damage because we've got the multiple dot run and because in essence leaving it like that applies the dot infinitely i can just sort of hide <coughs> and let the shield do a bunch of like dot application and then um that's easy I'm guessing rage goes up similar to god gauge so maybe large single attacks charge it less yeah i believe so but like it's kind of this thing where it's the first floor boss, right? If it was like a... And it's a random chance of getting it. So I've never build specifically to try avoid it. Um, and it's not like I'm going to have a specific kind of weapon. Like like a specific idea or like thing. Or enough choice in my build where I'm like, right, that does my chip damage. That does my big damage. So I can just go this one for this. I don't know. I'm probably not explaining that very well. Uh, in fact, I know I'm not explaining it well because I can hear myself. But I don't know, I don't think it's a particularly good mechanic because it's not clear how it works. And also, <coughs> I think it's too early in the game to have any counterplay to it. So it doesn't make me play the game any differently. I just DPS check her. Refreshing Nectar. So the next three boons I get have a chance at having higher rarities. No thank you. That's not that's not as good that's not uh, good either, but <coughs> Oh, Santos. Death approaches. Hey, buddy. Alright, here we go. Now, the thing is, this is actually not... This is probably going to be one of my hardest Thanatos things that we've seen so far. So, Thanatos has a couple of attacks. And, in essence, I find that dot builds can sometimes get out DPS'd by uh, Thanatos. Just because sometimes his things will drop onto enemies before yours do, especially if you have a lot of armored enemies like that guy there. So I don't think we've ever explained it, but like there is occasionally things you can get where armored enemies, and they're the ones with the yellow health bars. In essence, uh, dealing damage to enemies do stagger them for a second. So you get, they put them into like a hit stun animation, and you can just continue to bully them uh, when they're in red health. Uh, shields give them protection against that, and more health. So it's... It's an interesting mechanic, but it can make it a little bit more difficult to, like, chew through. And dot builds are strong, I find, but they struggle against doing that. Looking at it here, you can interrupt her rage building ability so the counter plays to do that. Ah, oh, that's fair. <coughs> I just don't find her 
range activation even that strong, so I'll just do it. I'll just, like, trigger it and be like, hey, buddy, death. Right, let's spin. So this is the barge of death. Uh, it is just room, but it's on a moving boat. Um, and it does often spawn in these blue crystal enemies. Now, these blue crystal enemies will make a pulse um, around them that causes the enemies it hits to make uh, go invulnerable. Uh, invincible, even. I don't know if those words technically have difficult, different meanings, but I always feel like they do and wonder if I'm using the wrong one at every opportunity. Um, so, this room is fine so long as you know to prioritize the blue crystal things. But so long as I use Beyblade, I'm usually fine. <laughs> like, this shield is the one that we mentioned in the first one being OP, and it really is. It's the only fun way to use the shields, in my mind. Another sexy boy. The skeletons? Look, you had it here, you can interrupt her. Fair. Uh, hangover effects deal fast, deal damage faster. It is really, really strong. It gives me more ticks on poison. But this. Using a fountain restores all health and gives you bonus damage is really strong. And I'm just going to take it. It's one of my favourite buffs in the game. As adjectives, the difference between invulnerable and invincible is that invulnerable is incapable of being wounded or receiving injury, not vulnerable, while invincible means impossible to defeat, destroy, or kill. <coughs> I'm just thinking. So I guess, right, to summarize, the majority of Achilles is invulnerable, but he is not invincible, right? Like, you could not hurt, like, you know, inv you could not wound, hurt, or harm anywhere apart from Achilles' you know, heel. Um, I was supposed to say ankle like a sexy Victorian lady, but um, you know that's why they were so risque, because that's the only way you could kill a Victorian lady. Um, but like, so the majority of Achilles' body is invulnerable because you can't wound it, but but he's not invincible because you can kill him. <coughs> I think that sounds right to me, given the description I've just read. Pew! I hate Medusa, I hate the Medusa heads. Right. I'm at, I've entered full focus mode again because I'm just kind of like trying my hardest to like win another run. I mean we've only lost one but I'd like to keep it that way because I was kind of actually expecting to not lose a run today. <laughs> Especially not because like I think it's kind of stupid because like I've ever said that thing where I went into this, gate, this stream being like right I'm going to start with a um, a bull run because <clears throat> that's my warm up and I'm very likely to win that. And that's the one I lost and now I'm doing weapons I don't like like gun, fists and shield are my bottom three and I'm co I'm coasting through them pretty nicely. So, whoops. Right. For the most part, I find this floor to be just, like, certain enemies can do really high damage and can be really difficult to dodge, but for the most part, I think that um, this floor is fine for most builds. Um, I'd say that, like, it becomes trivial if you have Reflect Dash, because most of these enemies are really vulnerable to, like, most of the enemies are projectile-based, even, like, like because a lot one thing that doesn't show a lot of the skeletons just come forward with a big thing and just go, bam, and throw it on the floor. And they count as projectiles. And there's a lot of shockwave enemies and ghosts that shoot things. So that's fair. Uh, hangover afflicted foes inflict on other foes near them. So they spread. Your hangover effects make foes slower. Dash causes uh, hang hangover. I'm doing the dash because uh, it's probably one of the better boss killing ones in that selection. <coughs> so I'm just kind of like going to go with that for now. Right, shop. Give me Aries. Thank you. Doom deals more damage, but costs that takes time to do. And there we go. Deal, Doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Hello. And we've... This should be a one run now. Oh my god, you're using the Beyblade. I am using the Beyball. Uh, the Beyball? Yeah, the Beyball. The Beyblade Drake. Yeah. Thought we'd go with it because we got mentioned so many times in chat earlier on. Thought we'd do this for our last run of the day. So we've got uh, this plus Doom effects, which is very, very fun. I think this is one of my favorite ways of setting it up. It's either this or Zeus. But just doing this is brilliant. Like, you just sort of, like, put it on a boss and go, like, you can just take a nap. So this is uh, Yellow Lurney. Yellow Lurney drops um, 
drops their big bombs from the sky. Oh, the other one that's really good with is Demeter, actually. So we haven't actually seen any Demeter buffs this run, but um, Demeter is in the game. Uh, her thing is slows. Um, you can get a really good Demeter buff, which is <coughs> um, your slow stacks up to 10 times, but when it hits 10, it cleanses off of them and deals a chunk of damage. Um, if you just make it so this slows and then like does that, it just will likely kill everything. Like, it, it just shreds bosses. Like, Demeter is an interesting one because while her damage output isn't good, she has a lot of, like, survivability and support options. And I think that those are strong. Like, they're usually strong enough that they're worth picking up. I'm in a really weird spot right now. I like to usually take the heads in a certain pattern. I decided, no, no pattern. Let's just smack them from the... Let's just start with head four and then go back around to head one. Like, I usually just go left and just kill them all from left to right. Oh, that's my shield over there. Come back. Oh, right. In general, like, the thing about this build is, like, it can be a little bit, like, I guess a little scummy. Because, like, watch Lurney's health. He should die to this. And does that kill? There you go. That kills. I didn't do anything. I just sort of went, ah, and relaxed. Like, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but it is, like, it is scummy. It's a scum tactic. But, like, you know, do it, it takes the win. Especially in single player games, I usually don't mind a scum tactic or two. If it, if it impacts on someone else's fun, like in a multiplayer game, I think it can be a bit annoying. Uh, and like you should limit that shit but if it's against a computer and you're looking for a win do what it takes to win if you want to challenge yourself challenge yourself if you want an easy win take the easy win right don't judge no, don't judge the way other people play I should yeah Daedalus Hammer <coughs> you got I, you do have a really high chance to get I believe uh, whenever you enter Elysium you're always offered either a Daedalus Hammer or a, a Boon of some sort, and it's a high chance to get Daedalus Hammers, and Daedalus Hammers are OP. Like, they are by far, in my opinion, the best buffs in the game. They also have some of, like, what I'd say, like, the most average eh buffs in the game, but for the most part, if I'm offered a Daedalus Hammer, well, I mean, every time I'm offered a Daedalus Hammer, I take a Daedalus Hammer. It just has... Like, it has top-tier abilities for every weapon. Like, for example, this shield, I can get it so this spin attack is much, much wider. So that's attack, that's special. It deals 50 damage to foes around you when you catch it. Isn't that good, actually? But I'll take it. <coughs> because I'm using the special, so why wouldn't I just pick up the thing that makes the special better? It was between that and the shot. Dead damn, you're off. Going to go play. Nice. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Uh, I will probably see you tomorrow for Smash, bud. Come get your ass handed. You get... You, if you get there early, if you're there at half two, you get... You, you're normally, like, one of the people who gets, like, the first games because you're there on time. Right. This is, in general, like, I think Elysium is probably, I'd say, the hardest floor in the game. Like... And that's, like, in total, including things like the Hades boss fight. Um, I'm most likely going to take stupid damage on this floor. And that stupid damage will stack pretty fast. Oh, hello, Chocobo's a horse. Been a while. Quick question. Where are we in the game? Uh, I have... Compl I'll just stop here. I have finished it. <coughs> I have uh, finished the canonical story. I've done a fair amount of the... Um, done a fair amount of the side stories and stuff like that but for the main plot line i have completed it so that is where we're at i am currently doing the bonus like extra heat runs uh just to get the ex the other items and such oh you're starting this game soon no problem this is not blind one i've been saying a couple times in stream that there are spoilers ahoy so if you don't care if you don't care for the spoilers then uh i recommend dipping out because even just going back to the House of Hades for me is a spoiler. Good enough to eat. Uh, special inflicts doom. Extra doom is always good. Now, 
Nah, spoilers are fine. No problem then. In general, I'm not going to be speaking of much of it, but um, it is always just important to make sure that you know what we're up against. I wish I had a reroll, because I'd like to reroll the Aphrodite buff, but I'll take the Afro buff. She can have decent support abilities, like taking less damage and stuff like that, and that's what I would like right now. It's just, I'm doing fine on damage. I just want uh, extra survivability. Now, uh, Asterius should be no problem, and once again, we got the good roll of the mini boss where we get the Asterius one. Uh, getting a Starius mini boss is just so top tier. Like, it's so strong. Right. You can just chill over there, buddy. And get. The only problem with Darius is he runs around a lot, uh, which means I do have to constantly recall the shield. Um, oh, he's down. No, he's not. He's just entering phase two. I weirdly always forget he does uh, a version of phase two in mini boss form. I often just uh, have it processed in my mind that he stops as I would be going into phase two. He should be stopping soon. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Doom puts him in. Doom finishes him off, which is exactly how we want things. Um, the hardest fight for me this run is probably, once again, going to be the Champions of Elysium. Uh, any heart reward chambers are worth more is definitely what we want there. <coughs> just... We want to be able to heal up more. Um, we have the chance to now just get, like, just plenty of healing stuff. It means if we get one from a shop, we're more likely to get a full heal off of it rather than just, like, a partial one. Uh, but for the most part, we should be fine here. Like, as I keep saying, this build is uh, damage, like, it's just really high damage right now because of the way the, the shield interacts with things like Doom. So we are set for an easy run. Oh, that's actually going to be a problem. These things are obnoxious with this build. So one of the things we didn't actually mention is while I have the shield out, I can't... Oh, I can't attack. I thought you couldn't attack. That's why I haven't been doing anything when the shield's out. Good, babe. <laughs> there we go. I knew something would just kill itself if I just sat there. Doom damage up to 201. <coughs> But yeah, so currently, like, Doom is doing all the work for us. It does a shit ton when it drops, but more importantly than that, like, it's... Remember we got the thing that says if we hit it more, like, more than one time onto an enemy, it does more. There's one more buff that I would like to get this run, which would make me unstoppable. It's an Ares one that says that it takes longer to drop, <clears throat> but does more damage. So it does more damage, takes longer to drop, which means we get more... Oh my god, more support fire. Support fire is just broken. Like, support fire, I think, is hands down the best boon in the game. Every time you hit, you get a little arrow that flies out and does more damage. But again, this thing is... <laughs> we are a full-on blender autoplay build. I press Y and the game <laughs> plays itself. Like, who needs skill when you have cheese? Oop, bop, bop. Like, so long as the Frisbee behaves itself, like, and does damage, I win, right? I, I let the Frisbee do all the work, and then Artemis is just like, yeah, I'm also here shooting people. This is actually a little silly. Right. There we go. Well, I didn't do well on phase two there, on, like, the second wave in that room, because I was uh, having a little bit of fun. But when f full Slade explode now... Uh, it's better than the other two. <coughs> I either get 25 max health or I can use this, which will help me heal up to full. And also, uh, I always just like going to see Patroclus because Patroclus is so sweet. Hey, buddy. <coughs> so in general, he doesn't want you around. He doesn't kind of want to see you ever. So his kind of thing is like, in essence, Elysium in like, mythology was like the place where the heroes went to die. If you were a hero and you died, you went to Elysium. You you earned your place there. Like, I guess kind of like, in a way, Valhalla, like um, Viking Valhalla. A very similar idea. Crits do more damage. Hell yes. Um, 
But, like, <coughs> it's really interesting to me because, like, the way they're portraying in this one is, like, a lot of the people here are wankers. They're very self-absorbed and, like, Patroclus misses the one person he wants to spend time with, which is Achilles, and he's just like, well, I don't care for this place. Everyone hears this because no one's really heroes. No one gets in here, so it's emptier than a lot of the places. <coughs> and the people who do get in, he doesn't really want to, like, spend his time with. I don't know. Patroclus, like, is such a good character. All the characters in this game are so good. It's so well written. Like, if someone had told me that, like, my favourite, like, story and characters would come from a roguelike, I wouldn't have believed them, like, for, like, a game this year. Because, like, roguelikes generally lack in the story part. Because they're, they're designed over their gameplay, because they're designed to be, like, infinitely replayable. So they... The focus is always going to be on the gameplay for something like that. Because, like, you know, if, I, if you want someone to play a game forever, then you make it so the game is fun to play forever. But this game just takes it, like, the whole, like, genre in a weird... in a great way that I haven't seen done before. Like, like I've played loads of Isaac, and a lot of games, like, like roguelikes, focus on the game, and then make their story super esoteric. Where it's like, you don't actually know for sure if that's the story, but you'll learn like super riddles and things like that that will like eventually reveal the story to you in a really interesting way. And it's like, great, why don't you just tell me a conventional story? <coughs> this game tells you a conventional story, has fantastic characters, includes the whole element of a roguelike of you respawning and doing it again into the story. Like, it, it makes sense. It's a story that is best told in the genre. <clears throat> it's one of the things you've heard about this game. Look forward to playing it myself. Genuinely, it's fantastic. Like, this is my game of the year, hands down. I uh, do not... Also, the console ports are really good to the point where I play this on Switch. <coughs> like, I own this on PC and Switch. I choose to play it on Switch because the, the, the port's just really good. <clears throat> oh. Like... Legit, it's just such a great collection of character stories and, like, the overall story is good enough to keep going, but they have all these side quests and stories that are just, like, good. And, again, they only work in a sense because the whole point of the game is that you die and you come back and you die and you come back. Right. Second to last floor. Um, I can either pick up a... Oh, they're not even selling 100 palm. They usually sell a palm for 100 there. But I don't have that, so... Let's see what my options are, and do I have an Ares one? I don't. Oh, the game's bullying me today. I guess... <coughs> We're also running a lot of crit right now, so... I might as well go down a, a quick crit run and see if I can get something else for that. But again, the fact that we've managed to get such a self-sufficient, like, self-playing run is very strong. By the way, are you okay? I'm alright. Uh, I've had a bit of a cough recently, a little sore throat, but... I have asthma, and when the winter rolls around, I normally get, like, a small chest infection of some sort. Um, we've done all the tests, and we've done all the checks, so it's nothing... It's not the big bad one, but... Yeah, I'm doing alright. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> There's just the proof one, you know? Like, I'm one of those people that if you mention something like, Oh, do you need to cough? Do you need to blink? Have you blinked in a while? Like, my brain's just like, Oh, I have not, and now I desperately need to do that. I become hyper-aware of things when they're mentioned. I hands down do think this game is, like, just so perfect for everyone. I will say the only barrier to entry is that it is difficult. I know this because I've got a couple of people who I, like, recommended this game to who are like, it was very hard. And that was, like, their one criticism to it. Like, it does have, like, it gets easier as the game goes on, but, like, it can be a bit disheartening to get into because of all the roguelites I've played, um, while it does have a very high skill barrier on it and a skill ceiling, it does also have a barrier to entry, which is time and grinding. You want to grind darkness early. Oh shit, poison. Uh, there's the fountain. You want to grind darkness early on so that you can get the extra death defies, the more starting health, and things like that. Um, <clears throat> meanwhile, if I played something like Isaac, if I started a new save on Isaac, I would win the game, run one most likely. But if I started a new save on this one, I wouldn't. Um, does more to armor I don't need. Crit marking foes is good. But yeah, uh, the, we're almost at the end of this run, which is nice. Um, and as I said, this will be the last one I do today. Hangover effects deal more damage faster. 
Oh, it's good that you mentioned that. Uh, hi again, quick popping. Hi, buddy. Miss you, sweetheart. We're <coughs> almost done this run today. This is the last run I'm doing, and then I'm going for dinner because I am hungry. <laughs> I'm assuming you're cooking and you're you've got something on, and you're now coming to say hi because you're waiting for something to cook. Because when you last left, you said you're off to cook. This, I can't believe this run. <coughs> the self-sufficient blender that I've managed to build is really fun for me. There you go. Free run, free win. So still. Doing good, done for the semester, so you're just vibing as the kids say. <laughs> nice. Like, I've got, I've managed to get a really nice little thing going for me, which is, I've managed to get like a day and a bit off work for free. So I'm doing good, just finished, gonna eat in a minute, miss you too. Oh, thanks Betty. Oh, hopefully it's doing great, we're all doing great. Yeah, so I've managed to get like a free day and a bit off work, which is really weird and interesting for me. <coughs> um, like, so I'm not working. <coughs> I randomly was checking my work schedule recently, they were like, yeah, 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 you've got, we're just giving you a day off and a day and a half. So like, I'm just kind of like, great, I didn't do anything for this. Why? And it's just like, Dennis, holy thank you. I'm like, you've never done this before. Something's up. I don't trust the management. But I am never going to complain. Another scuffer. Remember, kids, fishing is fun. Take damage and inflict weak on damage. Like, it's no... None of those buffs are super good. Like, a couple of them rely, rely on me having... Uh, I've been taking Afro buffs for a while. I was just hoping for like a less damage one. Fishing is bad. Fishing is bad, but fishing in video games is always good. <coughs> if your game offers you that fishing mini game, you take it. Right. Fishing? Where? <coughs> yeah, Alpax doesn't know what fishing mini game is. He's never done one in his life. Right. Okay. Final boss time. I'm stretching because like. He shouldn't be too bad because a lot of the buffs we took were um, like room based, so more to health and rooms. Only quick one, see you later. I'll probably talk to you later, Betty, but you'll like see stream tomorrow because. Oh, I did not even read that. Let's go, girls. <coughs> Come on, Dad, let's fight! Okay, so this is final boss. There he is. And now we just we just put him in the blender and we see what happens. Now he can be a bit dashy as well. We mentioned earlier we were struggling with some of the dashy enemies with this build, but um, for the most part, it's not going to be too difficult. He'll do he does damage. He does he actually in fact puts me in a bit of an ouchy situation occasionally. But I, I've got four death defies left. I've got a really, really high damage, really reliable build. Like, I'm kind of not scared of him at all. This means I'm dying. Oh, crap. That's really bad. So these are the invincible crystals. I didn't actually know he could get these on this, um, in the final boss. That must be what he's getting for my, uh, bonus thing. So I have one of the, uh, heat things on that gives all the bosses extra attacks. Like a new technique or two. Now we know what that is. That was high damage. I'm going into focus mode. Okay, this is a good setup for me because he's uh, going to take a lot of damage from that when it despawns. But he's gotten one of those in. That's perfect. Like, as normal, all I really want is for any opportunity where I can put him in the Beyblade to just leave him in the Beyblade, right? He goes in the blender, he stays in the blender for as long as I can like feasibly put him there. That's it. That should be phase one. Oh, that was death fight. Shit, that was me dying, not him. Okay. <coughs> Two death fights, phase one, isn't too bad. Um, I wish I had a little bit more in the way of death defy, like, like a health, because like, as when you come out of death defy, it's a percentage health you come back with. It's good to have high health for that. Unsurprisingly. That's a good sit back and let him take damage ability. I'm going to use that to destroy as much of those as I can. As many of those even. Okay. 
That's him entered phase two, which just makes his laser attack bigger. Um, but you dodge it the same way, so... I will read that in a second. Uh, but I'm just... When, I do, when I'm on the boss fights, I generally just try to focus and not read chat for a second or two. Okay, run away. Bad. That's going to be under death defy very soon. But I can take it. <coughs> and that should be death because... Oh no, because the shield despawns. There we go. Stop doing one. Nice. There he goes. I saw death defy left, so I was fine. You were strong in this once. Nice. YouTuber question. In your opinion, if I left a comment on a six-year-old video telling the person in the game how to play the game, would that be considered backseat gaming? Probably not. I would not get uh, much out of it. That was close. I still had an extra, like, 100 health in a, another life, so I was fine, really. But, like, I've had closer fights with Hades. But it was, uh, it was good. <coughs> so three or four runs today. I'm all right with that. I'll take that. Like, I was hoping for four out of four, but uh, I will take my three. I'll take my three run win and that. Right. Good to know. I'm leaving comments in the Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough then. <laughs> Wait, my dude, was that really like six years ago? How long are you fucking doing this for? Right, <coughs> so that's the stream for today. Uh, thanks to everyone who joined in. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, as we say, this is my solo week. Uh, Luke's solo week extravaganza. Bessie will be back uh, as of the 16th. Um, this week, it'll be Smash Bros. tomorrow at 230 Fuck, I forgot my schedule. Halo, Halo ODST with Alpax um, on Tuesday at 7pm. Tekken on Friday at 7 And then last but not least, it will be um, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield open raids while I get some more shiny Pokemon for my competitive team. Uh, ready to roll on Saturday. So thanks to everyone who joined in. I am, thanks for the stream. Glad I caught it. Thanks you for dropping by. It's always nice seeing people who we haven't seen in a while. Um, thanks everyone who watched. I'll see you tomorrow, 2.30pm, for more streaming fun. Toodle bye. I'm pressing that bye-bye button now. I need to go eat. Toodle bye.